Oop. Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday, March 30th. Yes, it is everybody's favorite day of the week, except um, Gabe's. Mm, he hates Wednesdays. Or I think, do people like, I think people don't like Wednesdays. I mean, it's not Monday. Friday's better. You need a queen. <laughs> oh, oh, the the, the pigs. <laughs> Um, Another masterpiece. A symphony of sounds. Thank you. Thank you very much. Truly an artist, I think. You could, if you could frame those, they'd be in the, uh, they'd be in the Louvre. Appreciate it. Right next to the Mona Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> My life, oh, today's episode is sponsored by Mint Mobile. Thank you. I, um, life is suffering. On top of my illness that I'm struggling to overcome, I'm almost out of antibiotics. I'm definitely far from 100%. Last night, I got a burrito, and I'm pretty sure it gave me food poisoning. Thank you for the, for the music. Life it does help. It's true. And it's just, I don't know, I'm discombobulated, I'm snotting, I'm... From the backside, it's just like a jetpack, bro. <laughs> so I, every time I sit in the bathroom, I get a little lift. <laughs> it's a nice visual. It's just, I was afraid to drive here, to be honest. I was putting it off because I was afraid I was just going to pull over and shit in someone's lawn. Like, pull that back here. <laughs> yeah. I'm dehydrated. <sighs> Life's tough. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be normal again. Anyway, we do have a lot of juice today. We got the Jimmy Lee thing, which we've been teasing for a long time. And oh, I got to warn you guys. Those that are sensitive to offensive language and uh, maybe, I would say, who are empaths, who are going to be feeling extra sorry for some of the people Jimmy comes to, you may want to skip this segment. I'm just, I'm just I think saying. that's fair. I, yeah. I, I think Cause I'm just a, a genuine trigger warning yeah. for the Jimmy segment. I mean, I'll let you guys know before we get into it, and we'll, we'll get there, but I'm just saying, you know. I don't, I don't want everyone complaining about how offensive he is, because I'm telling you now. Just say it. Just skip it if it's too much for you. The man is a, is a tornado of <laughs> insults. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. It's a nonstop, uh, it's just nonstop offensiveness. And even okay? if you're not sensitive, just have your hazmat <clears throat> suit ready for the cringe. Mm. Yeah. Um, we also have a really great store. Well, we're going to talk about AB Boxing, iDubs, which we teased in the last episode. Who or iDubs? Uh, David Dobrik, who's doing a crypto scam. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, and Cav Cav came out and published an article. He's still complaining about Wikipedia. I love it. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so some, funny too. There's actually a lot of good stuff too to get to today. Unlike most shows. Yeah. But before we start, a very quick shout out. To Teddy Fresh, who this 331, what day is that? That's tomorrow, tomorrow. Thursday. Mm -hmm. Thursday, this weekend, we are doing 30% off the entire website. It's a friends and family sale, and fortunately for you guys, you're all friends and family. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. 30% off the entire website. If you've been thinking about trying Teddy Fresh or if you're a veteran, now is a great time. We don't often do sales, so now's the time to uh, try the item you had your eyes on for a little bit of a discount there. 30%, big discount. Um, got some cool graphics too I want to show off to you guys. Friends and family. So there you go. Tomorrow, starting at 10. Yeah, it's usually 10. A.M. PST. Does it say the time? Oh, yeah, 10 a.m. PST. Teddy Fresh. Very exciting. So yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of really amazing stuff on the website right now. So there you go. All right, let's get into the juice, shall we? Now, what time is Jimmy? Uh, he's gonna call in, by the way. And we're gonna have to basically debrief. What we're gonna we have a little watch. talk. Yeah, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a little talk. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, what time is he calling you? Uh, we told him around uh, 3 or 3.30 our time. We just let him, we said we'd let him know. <laughs> okay, we, we, good. Because we, we're going to talk to him after it, right? We don't yeah, want yeah, him on the yeah, line yeah, during yeah. it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. You know, also, there was a lot of backlash on the Will Smith uh, episode. I made a video on Ethan, and Eli, or Ethan Klein channel. So I don't want to go into great depth about it. Actually, I'm just going to briefly talk about it. But, you know, a lot of people were mad at me. <clears throat> and the one thing I don't apologize for, the one thing I do apologize for is talking over the first caller. You know, you invite someone on, hear them out. That's fine. I accept that. I, I'm working on listening better. So apologies to the first caller. I feel like we got there, though. You know, I, I settled down and she, she made her point. So I don't know. A lot of y'all just fucking tripping balls. Keep also. fucking my mouth! Yeah, and just keep fucking my mouth. <laughs> um, but that's it. That's all I want to say. There was actually, you know, it's funny. All this stuff keeps coming out about it. Like Jada Smith, there's a video of her just a week ago. I didn't know this, being like, I love my bald head, and nobody can say anything that bothers me because I love my bald head. You saw that video? Mm-hmm. Well, I saw it, but I didn't know it was from a week ah, ago. Yeah, I didn't know it was a week ago as well. Seems like a lot of comedians uh, had the same take as you. Yours was actually pretty uh, vanilla, if I may say so myself. <laughs> yeah, what was those, some of those Tom Segura tweets were like, <laughs> nuclear, bro. It's fucking wild. Actually, send me the most nuclear Tom Segura tweet. Okay. I don't even know if you can even read it on the show, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I guess, you know, the problem, I think, is that uh, there is a loud minority. I mean, when we did the poll, it was 20%, so by no means the majority, but very passionate. Fortnite. You know, the other thing I was thinking about that I never talked about... Oh, let me show Tom's tweet. I also saw... What's that one guy who had that Netflix show? He also had a really good monologue about it. Oh, not this one, but this was good. <laughs> Tom is insane. I mean, the thing about Tom is um, he always does this when there's like uh, some sensitive issue. He always just like push it to the extreme for kind of a meme, so. I understand people getting offended by what he's saying, but I also know, like, I don't know what to say, Rose. Come on. You know, the, the, the most offensive one was, <laughs> let's see, this, this, this is right when it happened. This was the most offensive one. And I read this without, comp, without, uh, without, uh, an indoor, I, I read this in pure partialness. You're, no yeah. comment. I'm only a vessel for words at this moment. Fuck Will Smith's candy ass smacking a dude four inches shorter and 50 pounds lighter. He's just in his feelings because his bald-headed bitch been fucking around on him for years and he takes it. We all know who he wishes he could slap. Hashtag cuck Will. Not funny. He fucking my wife's mouth! <laughs> you gotta include Chris Rock then going, I'm going to. <laughs> okay, I can add that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he kept going, you know. This this be this bitch been bald. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes about it or her are fine. It was tame AF. You sensitive about it? Buy a fucking wig. I mean, yeah, you know. Also, there was one uh, that I enjoyed that was. He said, "Hang on." The one about his penis being a little sensitive. Where is it? Did he, he didn't race anything. No, I just saw it. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, here. He goes, lots of sensitive folks in my mentions. I'd like to remind you all to suck my dick. It's a little sensitive, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, Tom went in way harder than anyone. With the express uh, intention of offending people, right? Yeah, but there you have it. But obviously our audience is diverse and has a lot of opinions and stuff, so that's fine. There was one other aspect I was thinking about that I didn't talk about. 
is like all these women on Twitter fantasizing about a white knight attacking people on her behalf. Like, dude, you don't even know what you're wishing for. Will Smith is the most class privileged person in the world. The dude went up, assaulted someone in front of millions of people, and then sat down and got a round of applause. I mean, if your man did that, he'd be in jail. He'd be paying fines. Your family would probably be under a lot of strain. I don't know how long you go to jail for assault like that, you know? Lawsuits. I'm pretty sure you'd be wishing it never happened uh, by the time it was all said and done. When your dude's got like a, a, a you know, ankle bracelet on or he's gone from that. He's in jail for a month or something for some dumb act of, of uh, yeah, so I don't know. It's fucking stupid. That's it. Thank you. Anything else before we close the case on that? I believe that's it. Just saying. Just saying. Mm. Mm. Too big of a water swig. Are people mad at me? You seem you seem quiet like people are mad at me. Maybe. No, let's just this this topic I'm so over. I gotta be honest. I'm done. Okay, good. <laughs> Not just from you, just like just I opened up Twitter this morning and again my entire feed is just people arguing back and forth about it. It's like Well look what's been said has been said. Like everything to be said has been said at this point. Look, the last episode we did I got eviscerated, so it's worth mentioning and in a, in a brief, but there you go. Okay. Oh, yeah, so Will Smith also slapped an interviewer before. That was a weird one. I've seen that. The guy gave him, like, a hug or a kiss or something. Guy, well, he, like, backhanded him. It's yeah, well, the dude kind of did assault him. Yeah, the dude tried to kiss, kiss him. him on the lips. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that one was warranted. I found it a little odd how he um, backhand slapped him, though. It wasn't hard. He was like... It was like, I don't know, it was just, I, I wouldn't ever think to backhand slap someone like that. You know? Interesting. It's shocking, yeah. Pull it up. Real. <laughs> I can't jerk off to this. Yes, Dan, for real. <laughs> oh my god. If we're going to talk about the video, we might as well show it, it's interesting. <laughs> you don't want to see Will Smith slap a guy in, with the back of his hand? <laughs> what the fuck? He, he, oh, I think he was just giving him one of the, like, mwah, mwahs, Yeah, no? he, it seems like he acted like he was, but then he went for his lips. Oh, that, that's obviously insane. The, 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 the play... Huh. So you th he went for the lips, huh? It's hard to tell, because the camera's in front and all this and that. Pretty awesome, though. You guys got a little backhand. Oh, it's Men in Black, too, eh? That's a while ago. I'll just give you a <laughs> Okay, there you have it. History of slapping. Dan, anything to add? Definitely not. Dan, thoughts? Thoughts, Dan? I'm going to come... <laughs> what would you have done? Would you have slapped a man for trying to kiss you on the lips on a red Probably carpet? shove him off me if somebody's assaulting me, yeah. Okay, there you have it. Dan, everybody. Dan, good luck. All right, let's move on. Oh, another one other thing I want to say. Puff Daddy said on stage that the both Chris Rock and Will Smith are cool. That was a fucking lie. Chris Rock's brother said because, it was a lie. Chris, yeah, because, by the way, and this is some bullshit. Everyone's like, you're more angry than Chris Rock. I'm like, do you know that for sure? No, Chris Rock is pissed. His brother says it's on, and Puff Daddy lied about them being cool. For what purpose? I don't know. But Chris Rock is angry, and he's coming. Damn thoughts? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I got no more thoughts on this. Dan, what's your favorite Will Smith movie? <laughs> uh, probably Bad Boys. Oh, okay. Really? One or Bad two. Boys? Or three. I get the first and the second one confused. I don't know. The Stick original Men finger. in Black is pretty fucking good, too, though. Did he slap anyone in Bad Boys? Oh, uh, yeah. Shot Mike Laurie? People. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, actually, I honestly love... I don't know if this is controversial or not, but The First Men in Black is such a great movie. I love it so much. No, I, I love that movie, too. I like that movie. It's so cool. I love the concept. Yeah. I like Will is great in it, you know? He's great. I like The Pursuit of Happiness. The movie makes me cry. Yeah, it's a good movie. A little depressing. Yeah. 
I don't like the depressing films. I'm too fragile. Sometimes when you need a good cry, you know, you just throw that. A good cry. Yeah. Has anybody seen the one that he starred in with his son, the like sci-fi movie? I've heard oh, it's like yeah. one of the worst movies ever made. I didn't like, get through it. It was so bad. <laughs> yeah. I tried it. Just out of morbid curiosity. <laughs> I heard it's like brutally bad. I never, I've never seen it. Well, the, there's like an interesting backstory too. But he did it because he wanted to like bond with him. Like, sure. Yeah. But like, dude, I don't know. It's like you it's a movie it. about a father and a son, right? So, you know, casting. There's a better way to father bond. And son, I'm just but... saying, than working together. Yeah, I suppose. <clears throat> there you have it, guys. All right, moving on. Oh, the girl who whipped Cam has apparently become. Uh, she's blowing up on Instagram, eh? Yeah, she's been getting a lot of love from the foot soldiers. I was like, that's weird that they're, she's getting love. I'm used to people being like, on. Uh, <laughs> I had no, they're on like hospice care or something after our, oh, no. our fans come to say, our, you know, sometimes our fans are kind of a nightmare. I think they only attack us. They're, they're nice to other people for the most part. Okay, well, that's nice to know. What's up, everybody? So shout out. Um, I just wanted to leave this video here because today has been such a funny day. Um, if you're here from H3 TV or Cam Grants, I just want to say thank you guys for the overwhelming. Yeah. Oh, anyway, love. shit. Yeah, people were nice there. See, we're not all bad. Yay! <clears throat> Yay! Good job. Oh yeah, and then there was that cursed image from the Vegas trip. Oh, no. I had asked Cameron to do the AI. Do cor correct all of our faces, and um, Fupa Troopa had done it. It was very time consuming. So here it is. So here <laughs> we go. Music. Oh, no. So oh my God. So here me. Oh, here I am. God. I Bro, look like you can't play it. It's cursed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad attempt. I mean, it doesn't look anything like me, but uh, yeah. Considering what I had to work with, it looks kind of like Oliver Tree, the texture of the face and stuff. <laughs> Love. <laughs> I mean, I would say that that one looks very believable to the, uh, you know, the glitched out one on the left. Like, I don't think his forehead is that big. I don't know what happened here. Dude, I'm freaking scared. But yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> AB. Does that look like Sonic? <laughs> it's so cursed. What happened to your eyes, bro? Your yeah, eyes are blown off. Crow's feet that went off my face. Damn, AB right, seen yeah. better days, man. What the freak? What the freak? I'm sure it didn't help that there's a, a the face behind all of us. Probably. Right. That's <laughs> Confused true. it. You know, that one's good. I'm honestly <laughs> thinking that that one's <laughs> pretty good, no? Yeah, I think Ian and Chantal look the most normal. Like I look like a happy little gnome. Yeah. Yeah, and you got a kind of a baby. Little gnome hole. Kind of a baby face, but pretty good. Do not play this, man! <laughs> Chantel looks like Dude, completely normal. Perfect. Like, what the hell? They nailed that shit, yeah, man. Fantastic. She's stunning. <laughs> That's incredible. It's actually And really... it looks like her, too. Right. right. Yeah, no, it's that not... if you, she put that on Facebook, people wouldn't even think twice. Yeah. Right, right, right. Hila turned into... Oh, God! ...something. Someone else. <laughs> Entirely. That's that's Hildy right there. That is Hildy. <laughs> Her evil doppelganger. <laughs> oh boy. Sam's looks like I'm not gonna lie. I'm seeing Trisha Paytas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, it's not your real face. I mean, it's just. But do you see it? I guess a little bit. Guys, I think I'm gonna have to take a trip to the bathroom here. For real? Yeah, I'm holding it. I'm 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 squeezing my cheeks, but I'm just warning you. <laughs> oh no! It's gonna be happening here. Lena's is not bad, but like obviously pretty weird too. Yeah. What do you think? And are her eyes different color? Uh, um, pretty. I feel like one of her eyes it's is more like... masculine. Than she... yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it ended up it ended up pretty weird. Zach, <laughs> my boy. Zach's eye. <laughs> I, I don't know what you the know, fuck is going on. Other than the eye, it was pretty good. Not too yeah. bad, but yeah, the eye. The eye they was gave you, uh, They gave you Wally P's. I look dead, dude. 
<laughs> yeah, you look like a cadaver, you think? So I'm gonna look like when I'm like, you know, taxidermied or some shit. Your hair looks beautiful, bro. Thank you. Yeah, that, it had it, the, the color is really good right now, and um, yeah. Well, I'm talking about the AI hair. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> but I appreciate whatever compliment you just gave me. <laughs> your hair does look good. Let me see your hair. Yeah, Let's it see good. it. It looks great. Let's see those luscious locks. I mean, the AI knew. They knew. Yeah. Oh my god, they changed her race. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ali right. got turned Asian. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Interesting though, because it looks like her, but Asian. Interesting. I mean, that that's so interesting. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys. It's bizarre. Cam looks the guys, same. Guys, I'm, I'm squeezing. Ha ha ha. I'm shitting my face. If you gotta go, I mean, yeah, go. Go, right. go, bro. Let's just finish this, this part. So Cam looks like, I don't know what happened. His There's face shit all mangled. Over the floor. <laughs> the cigar messed it up, eh? Shit's Dance was the my, best. They kept the, the <laughs> crazy face crease. It's so Dude, crazy. You got the Joker thing, totally. Yeah. I feel like I have seen a dude who looks like this, though, interestingly. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, everyone feels like they know someone who looks like Dan. I wouldn't oh, yeah. be surprised. He got one of those faces, one huh? One of them faces. Someone said, Zilli Tsonka is evolving into Zumpa Loompa. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, uh, I'm shitting my pants. Yeah. We're back. Hey, we're back. <laughs> Ethan just sprinted out of the room. Uh, let me take a look at some of these wonderful, beautiful member messages that we got in the meantime. I was wanting to answer one earlier. Somebody asked about leftovers. Uh, we have talked about it a few times, but I don't expect everybody to watch every episode, so... I'm pulling up my calendar right now just to remind myself. So we are scheduled to record the first Leftovers back on... Where is it? Where the frick is it? Uh, here it is. So we're recording it on April 28th, and it will be published on May 1st. So there you have it. May 1st, the return Hassan of the Pecker. king. Hassan, Hassan Pecker, Pecker will be coming back to the studio. Um, we got to do an overhaul of the uh, leftover set. This oh, next yeah. One. Yeah. oh, yeah. I think it's going to be fun. I think we got to tune it up a little bit. Um, Put a couple more oh, million into take. it. Yeah, just drop another couple milli. Yeah. Um, any leftovers in Elden Ring updates? Um, well, I just gave you a leftovers update, but the Elden Ring update is... We're pretty much all over it at this point, I think. Yeah, I, th I believe Dan, Ethan, and a few others beat it, but the rest of us kind of... I think maybe tired. just me and Ethan. Or maybe just Did me anybody and else beat it? No, I was... It was consuming no. You guys were all so time. close. I know, it was... I was at the end, but it was just taking up so much time, and I need to focus on my fight, but I can't wait to get back into it. After the fight. Okay. If I don't yeah. die. If he doesn't die. He's not gonna die. You're gonna fucking win! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll save all that trash talk when we talk about it. <sighs> but it was real nice. On Friday, uh, my opponent released uh, a photo of himself. And as soon as we got to Vegas, the whole comment section in the Reddit was that I'm going to die. R.I.P. A.B. <laughs> it was a fun way to start off the vacation, I gotta oh, say. Oh, fuck, guy. <laughs> it's just a photo. You know, yeah. that can, you know, the angle. Yeah. Just saying. Be manipulated mm -hmm. a little bit. We'll talk about it more. We're we're planning on talking about the the whole fight on oh, this episode. Fuck yourself, yes. you stupid piece of shit, AB. <laughs> mm, that's another little teaser. New soundbite. Uh, yeah, drop. Keemstar. Shout out. <clears throat> what the fuck? Was that the burp from the uh, governor lady? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> this place. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got. Hi Dan and great moves. Keep it up. Thanks. We'll do. Hi Dan. It's my birthday. Wish me, please, a B. A B. Wish Ahmed uh, a happy birthday. Ahmed, happy birthday, happy birthday. Show them any more. Happy birthday. <laughs> you like that? Happy guy? birthday, A B. 
is content court dead? No, no, it's, um, you know, we just, it's never really been intended to be a regular thing. We, we do it when we have an appropriate target, you know, mm -hmm. and somebody that we want to, uh, do a, a deep dive on and spend a whole episode on. Um, there'll be more. Yeah. Look at items. He did contact cop like once a year, once every three years. Yeah, exactly. So, so it'll come back. I th there was somebody we were recently, I, I won't say who, but we were kind of. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I just don't recall who it was. Yeah. Well, there might God. be one in the, not Wendy Williams. We wouldn't do that to our girl. Would not do that to our girl. Uh, shout out to Cam, who has the best name ever, says Cameron. <laughs> Bias. Bias much? Uh, I hope Hassan doesn't simp for Putin on his return. I don't think he will. I don't. I'm just taking a stab there. Uh, Arby's Meat Mountain update? <laughs> um, it, it hasn't rotten as far as I know, it's right? Same, We're, yeah, it's it chilling. Pretty much the same. Yeah. Maybe Love uh, can do another update in we'll the near do. future. Damn, we'll what are your thoughts on the Smiths? Dude, <laughs> no comment. To be honest. Whoa, 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 what? Not a fan. Like Will Smith, or are you talking about the band the Smiths? Oh, I assumed the band. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what I'm Maybe they were trolling me and we're just meant the the Smith family. But you you don't like the Smiths? I've never been a fan. And Morrissey huh? is just a douche. I will agree with that, but I'm shocked. I thought you would like their music. I have no idea who it is. Yeah, I mean they're kinda in the space of a lot of bands that I was into growing up, but um, they just never did it for me. Sorry to the Smiths fans. I love them, dude. Dan, why are you so cute when you talk trash? That's one of the donations. Is that Keem? No, someone said that in the donations, but I didn't see the name. Was it Keem? Possibly. He uh, it seems like he's a fan. Why are you so cute when you talk shit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you see Shane Dawson is having a baby? Uh, we did. And we did. Best of luck. And good, best of luck to them. What can you say? Um, uh, Y'all are wrong about uh, Fit and Fresh. I mean, you don't even know their name. <laughs> are you aware that Coconuts and Barbados was taken completely out of context on Off the Rails 24 at 158.15? Yeah, I, I get it. He's He was saying he... At that time. He, when he was growing up in Barbados pick coconuts and he was using it as a way to reference how young he was so yes i am aware it's still funny some Barbados. it's still fucking funny i don't know what to say uh ab plug cedar point <clears throat> oh i fucking what love cedar point me and lena still got our season passes even though we haven't lived in michigan for two years it's this amusement park in ohio oh, oh yeah no, and it's like place. it's crazy because there's like nothing in ohio no offense you guys know what i'm talking about there's nothing in michigan either but cedar point is the best amusement park like the roller coasters out here six flags all that does not compare to cedar point they used to have the fastest and tallest in the world until uh, I think Ferrari World beat them a couple years ago. When is the next leftovers? Okay. Now nah, gonna... you just pissed off Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Rewind uh, about three minutes and you'll get your answer. I'm not going over it again. Uh, oh. Oh, dude. Ethan looks <laughs> miserable. <laughs> you alright, buddy? I don't know if I can sit, bro. Is that I can, bad? I can't wipe anymore, you know what I mean? Ooh, I, I do know what bidet, you mean. Like, the bidet is in there, which is good, but it hurts even from the bidet pressure. You need oh, to use the bidet now. Well, for that, yeah. So you, you, need some, around. you need some rosebud, dude. So, oh, my God. <laughs> Rosebuds? Y yeah. No, rosebud, like the solvent. That, like, the, the stuff that he leaked all over some dude's seat. Yeah, all the dude. time. Like, it's like Vaseline. You need that. For my asshole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I squirt this on my anus, do you think I need to spit it out of my anus? Or can I oh it? no! Curious to be able to taste it in your ass. Oh, oh my god! Disgusting. Why is this happening? I mean, are you? Uh... <sighs> I don't know how to get comfortable. It's just so much pain. Sam's asking, do you want some tums? I hope oh, you're, tums you're tummy a little bit. Need. Oh. Okay. I mean, Tums, I don't know. Is that going to help me clog? I need like a stool hardener. I think you need Jesus. I don't know if that's a good idea, though, because you want to get it out, right? Yeah. You have food poisoning. Yeah, I guess Tums is more if you're like gassy. Tums. You need a modium. That's what you need. Bro, I need a body transplant. <laughs> <laughs> his his stummy is upset, but it's I think it's beyond the point where the, where the... Intestinal. Yeah. I haven't peed like all day because I just keep... I, I have no water in my body.
It seems like nobody it's wants Oregon to Trail in this case. level of dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, let's keep going. Let's let's keep it rolling. I mean, if we have to cut it short today, uh, you know, maybe I'll feel better. I just need a little time for my butt hole to feel to relax from the trauma of what just happened in there. Yeah, I, got you. Yeah, I think I might shit it's like, my pants. It's like. It's like hard pressure, okay. a good stream, you know what I mean? I, like a super soaker. What color, is it that like weird I've, reddish brown? It's not red. Oh, okay. If you go again, let Zach take a look. Yeah, I'm very interested and fascinated by it. No, it's okay, I'll just... <gasps> I'm gonna flush twice knowing that he's trying to look at my shit. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ian is quick with Ian it. Ian, green screen god. <laughs> that water is cold too, man. That's the day water. It, it, it surprised you, doesn't it? A little bit. Yeah. Do you lean forward a little bit, like to make sure it gets? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you don't lean forward, it's just like up your ass crack. Right. Like right, right, right. And how do you dry your ass? Oh, TP. But don't you have hair on your ass? No, I trim. You trim your ass? Yeah. Really? really? Yeah. <laughs> what's what's so weird about that? It's not weird. Just well, like, do you use like a razor? Yeah, I didn't get back there. Dude, yeah. my clippers, you know, very carefully. Like a beard, a yeah. beard cutter. You yeah. got one specifically for that purpose, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So you, so what other part of your body do. do you trim? I do. I do. Yeah, sure you do. It's okay. You can admit. <laughs> Well, you know, my I've my, gone pubes to face. It's okay to admit it. Yeah, my my pubes. Yeah, my beard. It's my, happened. My pube beard. I'll, I'll admit. I'll back you up. Ah, uh, yeah. Fuck it. I've never gone same. ass to face, but it, it's the same. Else. It's the same trimmer. It's pretty, I don't know that it's worse than pubes to face. <laughs> well, it's not like you know. It's kind of. It's not the full asshole. It's just like you know, inner cheeks. The the, <clears throat> the Hoover Dam. You know. Hmm. What what number do you use? Like what? How many millimeters? <laughs> Uh, no guard. Straight. Oh, wow. Yeah. What? But doesn't your ass doesn't get it, super itchy? That's what I was about to yeah. ask. Well, then you take some rosebud. Dude, but, you're just walking you got, around with, like, Vaseline <laughs> ass can I Can I give Can I give my process here? <laughs> yeah, I'd love to hear. Okay, so I trim my pubes, I trim my ass, okay. Then I shower. So that gets rid of any excess, like, residue. Yeah. Wait, you shower every time you shit? What kind of shits you taking, bro? What does this have to do with shitting? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I was... So you, you shower before you shave or after? I shower after. Okay. So that way it clears everything out. Mm-hmm. And then after the shower, I put, like, some rosebud or some Vaseline or Aquaphor or something. Make sure it's all good. You know, I get my balls and all that shit. <laughs> so... You Vaseline your balls? Yeah, dude. But now, how, how often do you do it? Because... <laughs> I don't think one application would be enough. Application of what? Of the rosebud. Okay, how much rosebud do I put like on? Like how how frequently on a daily basis do you apply that? I only when I trim my ass and shit. Just only once. when I trim my pubes. So I trim my pubes, I don't know, every once every Couple few months. Once every few months, well. Wow. Yeah. Just look into laser hair removal. Nah, I, I, I don't think that stuff's as effective as people think. No, I enjoy you know manscaping. It's an interesting process, and it's almost like fearful in a way because like, oh, am I gonna clip myself? You know, gives you, you like the thrill. thrill. Yeah, I do. So do you? Do you? Sorry if this is this is a graphic. But no, I always no. have when I'm manscaping. I have trouble around the shaft. I'm so scared. Right. Of um, the shaft. The delicate procedure for sure. Because I nick. I, I feel like every time I do it, no matter how hard, I nick the shaft. Ooh. And there's always a little blood. Every time? Yeah, I don't know why. I try my I've best. I've done that a few times over the years. The thing is, the guard on the razor doesn't it doesn't get close enough. You have to take it off. Right. And I don't know what's going on there, but I just keep nicking myself. Well, why are you using a guard? I say I take the guard off. Do you use a guard to trim your pubes, though? <laughs> yeah. Why? Because I don't want it, like, to my skin. It's too short. That's fair. Ela doesn't. To. to be fair, Ela doesn't like it. She likes it to be a little, like a one or two. You know what I mean? Maybe mm. I'll start using a guard. 
I usually just go. But for the shaft, you don't want to guard. No, no, no. That's like meticulous, like small paintbrush type shit, you know. Um, but do you grab your your hog and like, <laughs> you know? I guess more like a piglet. In my I case. guess here, if you, <laughs> you grab your. Let's say this is your hog, right? Yeah. <laughs> you take it and pull it to the side, so it's all like your your thigh. And do you just? Yeah, like, that's one way to do it. So yeah, okay, yeah. But that's fine. But the, I'm just saying the shaft gives me difficulties. That's fine. you know sometimes what I do, Ian. If you could switch to me, is I like to go more of like. <laughs> well, well, we don't need a prop. This Get this far. man a chapstick. <laughs> this is too far. <laughs> yeah. What I like to do is, uh, <laughs> you know, is take a, take it and you push it to the side. <laughs> Oh but God. yeah, um, to close the story, yeah, I, I I shaved my ass. So. Okay. You guys ever hear of those like balls of wax? I don't know if it's just a thing that like Middle Eastern girls use, or in my experience, or balls? if it's like I have seen them. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, so I guess it's more. It's than a that. ball of wax. Well, I didn't know. I did because they sell the ones that I've seen in the past. Like it's from the Arabic store, so I don't know. But my ex thought it was funny to roll it up and slap it on my ass before. Oh. And that was the most painful fucking thing. It's for ever. like um, removing hair. Yeah. Waxing. Hmm. That was a fucking nightmare. Does Lena ever like help you groom? Maybe. Uh, not to brag, but I don't have that much hair. Mm, I think hairless I king. Yeah. Twink king. <laughs> no, but no, Ela does not. I don't want to involve Ela in my grooming. That's not a good crossover. <laughs> Didn't but ask. What about you? I'm not gonna respond to that. You asked the fucking question. <laughs> I asked. Well, a, well. I asked AB. I didn't ask you. What's the difference? You asking questions. You better <laughs> bouncing be around. To answer them. Okay. Yes, yeah, Chantal's helped me in the past. Yeah. Okay. Help you how? It's, uh, sugar wax, by the way, is what that, mm. yeah. that's called. Help you how? She's. You know, there's some areas I can get. She, butthole. She shaved your butthole. Maybe. Well. <laughs> It's true love. It's a keeper right there. Yeah, like seriously. <laughs> Are you guys doing stuff back there? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. I just find it. It's easier to watch. Not that there's any problem with it. I no. mean, you know, a rim job is a beautiful thing. <laughs> Never. I'm not, not Ronnie Mondo over here. Okay. Uh, Nothing to be ashamed of, Zach. No, I just, I, I find it easier to wipe when you have no hair on your eyes. I guess so, because I have a problem with the bidet. Yeah. Yeah. It's cleaner. It's easier to shower. <sighs> it's a good time, man. All right. Nice little tangent there. <laughs> um, <laughs> as much as I'd love to put a buffer topic between, uh, it is time for ads. No, we only have one ad, so let's just thank him real fast. That's right. Mint Mobile, of course, who we love. <clears throat> we love Mint Mobile, don't we, folks? If saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2022, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for wireless? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you maximize your savings with plans starting at just $15 a month. What do you think, Dan? Uh, yeah, it's a great service. I switched to it from one of the big boys. You know who I'm talking about. I won't say their name here. Scammers. Yeah. Fraudsters. Frauds. All of them. But yeah, uh, Mint Mobile uses the same technology, same uh, you know networking backbone as the big people at a fraction of the price. There's really no downside. Just so do you're it. using Mint Mobile, people. you love it. It's love just it. the same thing but cheaper. That's right. Well, that sounds like a good deal. So for anyone looking to save extra cash this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes significant savings on to you all plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5g network use your own phone with any mint mobile plan and keep the same phone number along with all your existing contacts and with mint mobile choose the amount of monthly data that's right for you and stop paying for data you never use switch to mint mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month i get the plan shipped to your door for free Go to mintmobile.com slash h3. That's mintmobile.com slash h3. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash h3. Thank you. Oh.
I'm feeling nauseous now. Oh. Jesus. If I start puking, we'll call it a day. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what kind fair. of what kind of burrito did you have? It just was a normal burrito. It was just a chicken or steak? Chicken. Hmm. Mm. And it seemed it tasted fine. It looked fine. A little undercooked, maybe. Hopefully not some salmonella kind of thing. Undercooked? Maybe. I don't know. Undercooked chicken will fuck you up. It was little chunks, so it's hard to tell, but right. It wasn't a Chipotle burrito. Mm -mm. Was it? Oh, okay. That <laughs> <laughs> would have explained everything. Yeah. I'll tell you what it was. There's this little taco shop we order because they're open till like 2 a.m. So sometimes when we're hungry at oh, night, that's awesome. We order from them, but so it was a late night burrito. A late night street burrito. Mm. Mm, yeah. This can get you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's get to Jimmy Lee. The man is waiting for his time in the sun. So <laughs> once again, guys, with peace and love, this is a warning. If you are easily offended or have triggers or you're an empath or whatever it is, I guarantee you there's something in this video that's going to offend you. So skip the next 30 minutes or something. If you come back and you see Jimmy's face, just wait, go away back again and come back so you don't right. see Jimmy's face anymore. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this video is going to put me over the top, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right, guys, here we go. I, I, uh, you want to say anything before we play this, Zach? Uh, you want to apologize? Uh, no, because I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> I was, I was, we were filming a documentary. And we were, don't, you know, don't shoot me. I'm just the piano player. Um, we, we went out there and we, we tried to film Jimmy like, like, a, like a Maisel's documentary. Um, and this is what we got. This is. Yeah. I want to say that we do not condone or right. endorse. Not at all. Not at Nor all. did we participate. Nope. We were. In any of the shenanigans. We were simply there to observe. Correct. An animal in its natural habitat. Correct. In fact, at times you guys were even trying to pull him back and be like, "Dude, you gotta, you we, gotta chill." We pulled him back. Yeah. We told him this is too far. You can't do this. And and he was he does this stuff anyway. So we didn't we didn't even right. He was coming to L.A. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, to do this. Don't don't blame us. Man. Right. And we we're like, well, I am washing my hands with so, peace and love. He like on all, uh, he was here for a vacation. All disclaimers. Yeah. are being made with peace and love. This is Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. Let's make it happen. So, we are here with the legend, the man, the myth, Mr. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. He's very graciously treating us to a very nice Actually, breakfast. this guy's paying over here. I, I didn't tell him yet. He now I just want to, I'm gonna to have to pause because it's long. That magazine, that magazine he brought to the podcast like two years ago when we had him on, right? You're right. Day magazine. Yes. Which he only texts me about like five times every month. So the magazine. Yeah. What does he say about it? He's like, check this out. You already, but we already showed it. He doesn't. He doesn't remember. He, you know. he sends the same things to Zach like every day. <laughs> It's, All right. It's a lot. Let's yeah. go. Give the thumbs up. Uh, he's getting the bill. You've got a lot of money, I know. When your wife dies, you're, uh, you're going to be all right. It's good to see you back at men's clothes. Anyways, we're having a nice breakfast. So Wait, was that guy angry? He said, I got a lot more money than yeah, you. Yeah, he, he was not happy about that. Nice to see you back at men's clothes. You're going to notice a lot of kind of ancient homophobia and transphobia and stuff like that. Yeah. You know? So... Trigger the usual Jimmy stuff. Yeah, you, usual Jimmy stuff. They had a timeline today to go to certain areas and interact with people, do street comedy. The idea is to end up in the hospital at the end of the day. Right, and when I'm in the hospital, Cameron, I keep them in stitches. Joel's going to make me look a lot better than I look now. From a 9 to a 10? That was polite. That was very polite. How about from a 1 to a 3? <laughs> One thing, Cameron, that they say about Joel, that he knows how to listen. Nobody knows he's got nothing to say. He's making me look pretty, though. Hey, what's going on here? Getting the makeup done? Yeah, a little powder, a little paint makes me what I ain't. Are you so, having a penile enlargement put in? Yeah, I got that last week, but my wife rejected it. <laughs> that does make him a fabulous. That's By the way, this is my favorite part when he's self-deprecating. He's charming, he's funny. 
this is my note for Jimmy when we bring him on because when he gets out there and he turns it on other people, it just goes really, really south fast. Yeah. Uh, I have Kim and you want to eat something. I won't say nothing. Eat a cookie. I won't. I won't tell nobody. What do you weigh? Oh, you think I look skinny? I appreciate you're that. You're a skinny guy. <laughs> skinny. You need to eat. They no, can call that's... you Anna. You know, anorexia. You're you're pretty lean too. For you. I'm a lean guy, but that's because the Asian chicks like guys lean. I got what they call yellow fever. You know, what yellow fever is. Bring them young. Bring them in stiletto heels, but be sure to bring them. But bring them Asian, never Caucasian. Bring them young, not the university. Bring them young. Bring them young. <laughs> And by the way, I mean, his makeup artist is Asian, I think. So. Right. It, it, add extra layers of cringe. Right, 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 right. Bring them young, baby. Bring them young. Are we even a minute in? I'm already... Yeah, a minute 40. <laughs> <laughs> but be sure to bring them. I like that. I don't think you guys did, though. Guess what? Now we got to do this part. You think the makeup was hard? So the hairline... I... Now, you guys... The, the hairline situation you guys talked a lot about. Right. Um... Yeah, <laughs> like you'll see what he's trying to lower it quite a bit. I mean, it. God love the guy. It looks like he's like in a mortician makeup chair. <laughs> like, actually, <laughs> like it has to kind of be. It's really see how high up it is. It's got to kind of be like to that. Can we get Ethan to do his hair like this? It's like a full think? inch Can down or two hair, inches. Okay? Yeah, I think it's looking really sharp. Okay. <laughs> I look like I did <laughs> twenty years ago, Zach. Bad. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. You guys ready? Well, I want to be like you. You look like Trick or Treat Charlie. You want to be like me? Change your clothes. You got clothes for me? Yeah, I got clothes for you. Right? If I make it snappy, I got some place to be. I'm what's, very unimportant. What's guy. Trick or Treat Charlie? We still can't figure that out. Okay, because there's a lot to decode in here. That's kind of hard. But okay, Trick or Treat Charlie. Maybe someone in the chat knows what that means. I'll keep an eye out. Because the Jersey outlaw and the mini Jersey outlaw are getting ready to shoot in Hollywood, California. Here we go. So did Jimmy just tell you you're not allowed in the shop? I'm not allowed in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> He's got fucked over. It's our shoot. I have, a, I have an idea. Do the shot in front of the limo. I wish security would fix his collar, though. Yeah. Can I, can I just do one thing? I mean, no offense to this. Can I fix your collar? Oh, right there. Yeah, he's he's kind of right. I, I'm sorry. There was a big issue with the collar, and you were got a little sensitive about the thinking he was mad at you too, Zach. What happened here? His collar looked like shit, and we were filming, and we we couldn't have that. So, <laughs> okay. A little is that presumptuous to fix a man's collar, or I he, I didn't touch him. You didn't. You just, you just pointed showed, it out. Yeah. I don't yeah. think what you did was out of line. I don't think he was in angry any way. Either, I don't know. Though. I didn't see any signs he was actually angry. He, he definitely was. He was really. Fucking <laughs> I mean, this dude was like ex-Israeli forces and like he was not happy. He about was it, really the collar issue. Really got him. Yeah. I mean, his, where did Jimmy find these guys? These actually guys are actually like scary ass bodyguards. There's some company he hires and like elite mil ex-military. Yeah. Guy. Like something, but yeah, that, that really pissed him off. But we're, we're bros now, we're homies. Okay, good. that's good. Oh, wow. Somebody said uh, Jimmy's got Austin from Ace Family's hairline when they painted on like, the 10 inches lower. Yeah. That's right. I mean, <laughs> Austin true. has two hairlines, though. Right. Well, Jimmy kind of did too. But... That's true, actually, with the paint. He has mm -hmm. two. Right, so come here. All right, so one, two, three, go. He just, he just squeezed the fuck out of my hand when I told him to fix his collar. He didn't like that. I told you, we're going to get killed by the end of the day. Your teeth look like the Spice Girls. They're all different colors, and they're all doing their own thing. <laughs> that's funny. Did we film that? That was actually a good one. The red light's on. The red light's on. That's what they said at the place last night. I had to leave 200 when I left, you know? We're going to Beverly Hills where the rich... Prostitution joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. got it. So that, that one he says a lot about the Spice Girls teeth thing, I notice. Meet the famous, little, which would be the little Jersey dated outlaw. In reference. This. Spice yeah, Girl, Spice Girls joke, little, little, probably, yeah, a little, probably bit. a more up to date reference you could make there. I mean, Spice Girls is you know, timeless. Zachary. I feel like I pissed him off, and I just want to apologize. Can I shake your hand? I'm sorry. These guys are good guys. Don't worry about it. Okay, I know where you stay. We have to come up with a stage name for Zach, you stay. so we could call him the Zacker, so people remember. So you want to be known as the Zacker? I go by Zilly Zonka. No, I don't like that. <laughs> Okay, so this is like 
You guys managed to get all these people there to wait and think there's like a real celeb coming out. Uh, I, I guess you guys are down at like uh, Rodeo. I think. Yeah, Rodeo. Yeah. And then Jimmy comes out talking about the audio. It's my this is my favorite part. <laughs> like, look at this shot. It's so perfect. They're waiting for the celeb. It's happening. <laughs> Hold it. I want to check audio, audio on. Dave, you have my audio. Where's he? You have audio? All right. I want you guys to meet my gay, my gay friend Zach. We're, Howdy, we're, gay, we're friend. gay. My gay friend Zach. And this year, I took him on a vacation, and everybody came. Where are you from? You English? Yeah. How come you don't eat the muffin? Listen, your teeth look a little bit like the Spice Girls. They're all different colors and they're doing their own thing. There are people in, in London called dentists. That is okay. terrible. So can, right? I, can I, I'm his protege today. This is my protege. So were these jokes funny? Did you like these jokes? No. No, 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 the first few were, yeah. 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 The first few were okay. All right, Grandpa, time to get you back to the home. He's a nice guy, isn't he? It's a pain in the ass. You give him a cookie, he goes away. A little less starch on the collar. Okay? How you doing? Here he is. I mean, Mr. Like Magoo, how you doing? Prowling. How you doing, buddy? Where are you from? Take off your glasses on. You're making a spectacle of yourself. Look at this lady. I know you. One, two, three. It's going to get nuts. One, two, three. Beverly Hills, California. One, two, three. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. You doubled up with two guys? No. Well, we, we share everything we no. do. Tell her, Zach. That seems kind of inappropriate. I mean, uh... John. John, you know John, and you're very popular in hotels. <laughs> Respectful every time King, I Zach. go to my hotel check in, there's a John. Well, I went eight years to a two year community college. Oh, wow. You stay out of gay bars, I'll stay in them. Okay. All right, now get out. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I... Hey, what did he say? Stay out of gay bars and I'll stay in them? Yeah. Yeah. You stay out of gay bars. I'll stay in them. A lot of homophobic, like, okay. Jimmy jokes. I guess the only way to describe it. Okay, interesting. I had it up to here with you. No. Yeah, I met you in the Little League. I know who you are. Hey, that a short joke. That's a nice outfit. You look like Trick or Treat Charlie, for Christ's sake. Hey, he already said that. He kept. I don't know what Trick or Treat Charlie. I'm guessing it's a Charlie Brown reference when I put that into Google, and I saw some people in the chat saying that, but I don't know. But I know further. it's Char like I get, but like, what's the reference? You can't just call everyone Trick or Treat Charlie. Well, is it from the Great Pumpkin? I'm guessing Char Charlie Brown special. Is so he's saying you look like way? a Peanuts person dressed up. You look like a kid. You look like yeah. a. You look like a Peanuts dressed up for Halloween. Which I just he said that joke twenty times, like if not more. Interesting. Where are you from? Humble County. It's your Humble County here. Humble this. Jesus, humble Jimmy. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? I ran out of jokes. I love that he just bails. I ran out of jokes. <laughs> Look who's here, Mussolini. Come on over, Mussolini. Here he is. The war's over. You lost. I don't even know what to do. You, you're British. You look British with the teeth. No, I'm Mexican. You're Mexican? Yeah. <laughs> Don't take anything from <laughs> Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> it's so out of control. Not even a joke. Yeah, that's just that's Ugh. bad. It's a Christmas miracle he didn't get clocked in the face. Well, those security guards are pretty intimidating, to be honest. He's probably learned that lesson already. That's like, why he hires those guys. We hired security guards for events and stuff and, and, and our building and all that. They don't look like these guys. He went to some like real elite bodyguard shit. Yeah. Those guys are like 6'5. They're massive. Yeah, they were big dudes. This is a nice outfit. You, you could work a goddamn thank zoo. You, you, you could work at the zoo. Okay, so. Okay, you, by the way, that's Trevor, our limousine. We've driver. met Trevor, yes. <laughs> so I got a question. What do you Wait, you? that's the driver he keeps roasting? Yeah. Poor Trevor. He was he was being a sport to Jimmy. Um and like he was actually a really nice guy. Yeah, no, he looks like a great sport. But yeah, but he Jimmy just kept like give him a break, man. He can't yeah. even escape from you. No. <laughs> Ever scared you gonna get clocked? Or I like... got uh, Uno. And yeah, Bono. but if the guy swings, like my guys are here. You want to try? I would. I, <laughs> that I guy's pretty funny, guy. dude. <laughs> he he really <laughs> fucking hated me, dude. Yo, you look small next to him. Like, how tall was Big he? Big dude. We were, I mean, he was maybe an inch taller than me. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, the, the the funny part is, like, him and I were sitting next to each other in the limo. And I was sitting on the hump the whole fucking ride. 
and I'm just like squished. The hump, like the middle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I have Up close and personal. Pretty much. Hey, look who's here, and look who's here. I heard of the Spice Girls. You girls look like the Bland Girls. You look like Amy Winehouse if she went to rehab. <laughs> and you, you're looking as beautiful Jesus as ever. Christ. And girls, two fives do make a ten. Okay? Yeah. You look wonderful. Thank you, so really. do you. You keep this up, hon, you're going to have a massive one by Friday. Yeah, that, that one was just, like, so out of control. And we blurred their face because... <laughs> Well, without verifying some's age, I don't want to put any uh, youngsters on blast, but there was actually one moment we cut. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, and like I tried to leave in as much shit as I could, but some shit I actually had to cut because it was like, I, I think it was probably a crime, actually. Without a doubt. I probably shouldn't even say it, right? No, yeah. no. Nah. Let's, yeah. <laughs> Just let it let it lie. <laughs> Trick or treat, Charlie is a minor character in Trick or Treat. Yeah, uh, it's a, a, a super chatter uh, pointing this out. Uh, I still don't necessarily get it. I well, guess. let's ask Jimmy when he comes on. I guess we can ask Jimmy. Yeah, let's trick or treat, Charlie. If you have any other jokes you want to ask him, let's let's keep a tally. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Get answers. <laughs> we can get to the bottom of a lot of these. Yeah, but we need to really get, explain to Jimmy that this is, I've tried before, like, you can't just go up to a girl and call her ugly. I mean. That's not really a joke. A little more premise. <laughs> right. Here's the premise. You're ugly. <laughs> Zach, you're, uh, you're getting iced out by Jimmy a little. Hardcore, man. Fucking hardcore. The girls he fucking roasted, they're like, they're like, who is that? They're like, I don't know, but he looks famous. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out his camera. Sort of famous. Give me the lights, screen. Yeah. I'm talking, please. The money you can go Shut into the, the store. Bell. Will you wait a minute? <laughs> Painting me as I'm trying to do my <laughs> job. Jimmy, can you teach Zach his camera? Yeah, phrase? teach me like uh, so he's you, a little more you haven't done it once. Work with me. We're gonna try it right now. Follow me. Turn around, Zach, and do your stick. Do your do your catchphrase. Work with me. Let's try it again. I got two kids in private school. They won't tell me where the hell it's at. <laughs> Work with me. <laughs> All right, take care. All right. This fucking. Man. Get the hell out of that court. Two hot chicks. Two hot mamas. Two milfs. Two milfs. You married? Pull over. Pull over. Pull this was incredible. No, he actually here. got one of these Hollywood buses. He's famous. Just famous. To straight up pull over. Pull over. Pull he over. cleared the fucking bus out. Pretty incredible. Out of the bus. Let's go. Everybody out. Everybody out. Let's go. We're going to we're just doing comedy TV. Everybody out. Let's go. Everybody out. Everybody out. Let's go. <laughs> the power so of confidence. My grandfather, Jimmy Lee, we take him out here every Tuesday. Look, yeah, this must have been so night. surreal been for these people on the bus. <laughs> just what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> these people are on vacation in LA. They just want to do a little tour of Hollywood. Pull over. <laughs> Jimmy Lee is screaming at them to pull over. <laughs> then they do. God knows what ensued. ZZ Top is here, guys. What song are we doing, Tush? If you're having a good time, let me hear you say yay. Yay! yay. China doll. China doll. <laughs> come on, Mom, Mom. Chanel, come on, Chanel. We need, we need a fucking break. <laughs> I'm just stunned. I don't know what's going on right Shock. now. How you doing? To my black friend. The war's over. Everything's good. Jump, run. Wait, what does that mean? To my black friend, the war is over. War is over. Go on, run. I don't. The Civil War? Want to write that one down too? Maybe? Yeah, I'm, I'll write it Wait, down. Wait, is he talking about the Civil War? Oh, God. Honestly, his jokes are such like deep racism. Like, you just don't know where the fuck. But they like, from. a Civil War joke? <laughs> I you... guess. He's <laughs> was. It's a, it's uh, hold on because that that actually I was trying to figure out what that meant. And now I think I think it must be that. Hang on. Chanel, come on, Chanel. We, we need a fucking break. <laughs> where it's I'm just at. stunned. I don't know what's going on right Shock. now. How you doing? To my black friend. The war's over. Everything's good. Jump, run. I could have been in the Olympics. I didn't want to. I didn't want to run. I could have been black and been in the Olympics. I didn't want to. I didn't want to run. Think I. What? I think that's like a Jesse, Jesse uh, uh, Owens. Owens, yeah. Yeah, reference. Wait, what's the joke? 
It like it's not even a joke. It's just like an obscure reference to a runner who participated in the Olympics during World War Two or yeah. prior to World War Two. Jesse Owens, but why does he say I could have been black? Because maybe he runs fast. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's Jimmy, man. Like that's the only explanation. <laughs> I got to say, I don't know. I'm not reading the comments, actually. I can only imagine, but... <laughs> look, he's a one-of-a-kind guy. That's for sure. And he's fucking... In, I mean, look, you never met anyone like this in your whole life, right? No. That's what it's all about. No, he this is, is the only one. I have, kind, for like, sure. PTSD. <laughs> and Jay, uh, he's the only one on the earth, is Jimmy Lee. Amen. I can write a joke. I've been doing it. And the so thing long. is, like, he's been out of our lives for so long at this point, and he keeps coming back because he's so persistent. Like, the first collab I did with him was, God, God knows, 10 years ago or something, or maybe not, seven years ago. Yeah. And he's just like so that. persistent that we go, okay, you know, maybe, maybe the world's ready for another Jimmy Lee cameo. It's been three years. So we can tolerate him once every three years. While, that's a really good shot. Good. That's a good shot. Okay. Is it? Table 19, your <laughs> breakfast is ready. How long do you have to eat this till you end up in the emergency room? <laughs> Table tw 37, leave. <laughs> what? I got my eye on you. Oh, this is the best. This is the, <laughs> the standout moment for sure. On, got my eye on you. How you doing? Good, Your hairline's worse than mine. Just so inappropriate. It's just, just so wild. I mean, they're oh stunned. God. They're just they're they're floored that the the poor the poor lady. I think they're they're just like, did he really just I say got that? Got my eye on you, honey. Got my eye on you. How you doing? Good. Your hairline's worse than mine. <laughs> and the way he just brushes past them too after he drops that is pretty incredible. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> What's your name? Hey, Jewish kid. Lawyer, counselor, doctor. What do you Auto think? parts. Auto parts. Yeah. Really. I've seen better bodies on used car lots, to what? be honest. <laughs> this is my grandfather. Zach, Zach, Zach wants, Zach wants yeah. to say you something some to Zach's you. Zach's hair. I know. Zach. I told him that earlier. I got my eye on her. Yeah, keep it off. <laughs> Again, he comes back. By the way, first Once of all. Once wasn't enough. He really comes back. <laughs> But shout out, the guy was ready. He's car lots, to what? be honest. <laughs> this is my grandfather. Zach, 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 wants, Zach wants to say you something some to you. Zach's hair. I know, Zach. I told him that earlier. I got my eye on her. Yeah, keep it off. Legend, actually. Will Smith, take note. <laughs> That's how you defend your, your lady or mom or whoever that is. I don't know if it's his mom or his lady. Yeah, <laughs> keep it off. Good call. <laughs> Love him. <laughs> Dude, that, that to me was... Truly left me speechless. But there it is, Jimmy Lee. Unfiltered, baby, raw. Yeah, I dare you to come at him. His bodyguards were beat up, your one-eyed mom there. <laughs> Jimmy, we can't go in there. Work with me, Zach. You didn't say nothing. Uh -oh. I, well, I was, like, supposed to say that. Like, you don't want to endorse the jokes he's saying. Plus, uh, yeah, I just, we're observing, you oh, know? Right. Don't play. <laughs> so far, uh, do you feel like Jimmy has kind of dumped you a little bit? To Completely. The How does that make you feel? Awesome. I feel hurt. I wanted to come learn, but I guess I am learning. I see some people defending the uh, eye joke. The j eye joke was objectively funny, <laughs> some are saying. So there you have it. I mean, at least you can fall, like, it, it's extremely offensive and rude thing to say but at least it's like there's a direct there, line there, in it's the an logic actual of joke like what yeah right yeah. it was quick. Not like hey you ugly hag all right <laughs> it was it was quick thinking of jimmy yeah it was pretty good yeah. we didn't have to google it to yeah it. right Maybe. we didn't have to google it <laughs> to understand <laughs> this <laughs> What yeah. have you learned so far? A fucking catchphrase. That's what I've learned before. So far. Work uh, with me. Uh, can we film, please? Are we filming or are we just talk, talking? What are we doing here? The policeman's here. Maybe you could teach, tell Zach, teach him a joke. Yeah. Next one. Yeah. 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 What you want to do is you want to go up to a woman and you want to say, I asked you if you had mutual orgasm, but you told me you had State Farm. I don't get that one. 
Wait, hold on. I didn't get that either. How you doing? You remember when I met you? But you're gonna. He gave you a joke here, Zach. You orgasm, but you told me you had State Farm. Teach him a joke. Yeah. Next one. Yes, Jack. What you want to do is you want to go up to a woman, and you want to say, "I ask you if you had mutual orgasm, but you told me you had State Farm." Do you have mutual orgasms? Okay, like mutual. Is like it's an insurance insurance right? company. Mutual yeah. orgasms. Or is it just called mutual? It's, the insurance company is not called mutual orgasm. Wait, what's the name of the? It's just mutual. So oh, mutual. and then he's just—it's another okay. insurance company. It's not a great them. joke because I wouldn't miss here. No, it, there's nothing like quick about it. There's nothing. I I just maybe I don't understand it. I don't get it. It's not funny. Yeah. Well, we could take a poll. Mutual. Somebody said like mutual Omaha. Oh, mutual Omaha. So at least mutual orgasm. Right. So maybe but, that's a regional thing. Yeah, is that a regional thing? Like mutual. Omaha, Yo, insurance but. jokes are pretty dope. Though. You got to give them up. Omaha. Like, I don't yeah, think sure anyone. Enough. So yeah, it's probably a play on that, but I, I I've never heard of that. Here's topic. the thing, guys. There's no working comedian today who's doing insurance jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so put a little respect on his name. <laughs> I don't get the one. Tuna milk. Tuna milk. And if you, you feel doing? bad for Jimmy, first of all, I love oh, Jimmy as a person. I don't person. think you need to worry about that. I'm just saying because sometimes people go, oh, you're going too hard on poor Jimmy. I mean, someone made a video for Christ's sake about how I was mean to poor Jimmy. Yeah, that person. We've always had this relationship. <laughs> and he keeps writing me every day. Me and Zach, a hundred times. We get it. It's fun. You know, this is the relationship that we have. Yes. And, um... It's all love, baby. It's He's a, love. It is all love, but I mean, to an extent, because hey, I'm not. I don't want to be involved in. Like, you guys keep your. Hey, I got nothing to do with no. I got to know nothing about nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Any crimes committed on the set of the filming? I I ain't got nothing to do with. Join. You remember when I met you? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna be on the bottom. I'm gonna be on the top. I'll tell you what we'll do. Zach's okay. gonna get us a bunk bed. What? Audrey. We're doing comedy TV, not real well. Very nice. And uh, where do you just hanging out by yourself? I work close by. Oh, I so you deal with rich people. Are they paying the answers? Most of them. And you got a smile. Is he gonna stand on her knee? Because they pay you. And sometimes you want to just walk, but you you, you bite your lip. 100 yeah. percent. Now nah, you yeah, get a you like space. pancakes, French toast. French toast. I had it last night. My tongue got caught in the toaster. <laughs> Do me a favor. Take what? my wife, please. Okay. Wait, he can't be doing the take my wife bit. Well, that toaster joke we were debating about, like, that's obviously a, a like vagina licking joke, right? Hmm. He said his tongue got stuck in the toaster. He's Zach saying they didn't know if that was a vagina joke or not. Mm. Yeah, because I was lost on that too. I, I mean, I guess a vagina joke. Yeah. The vagina's a toaster? Apparently, yeah. I mean, how do you get your, your tongue stuck in the toaster? Yeah. Uh, Aaron just donated 50 bucks. That Jimmy is the Norm McDonald of our time. We won't appreciate his jokes till he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's aiming more for Don Rickles. Just uh, Oh, Don Rickles is Yeah, that's hero. definitely yeah, an inspiration. He's like Don Rickles, but... He's like Don Pickles. <laughs> Don Pickles? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> People saying like French kissing, like French toast that you would make in a. Like, His jokes are so complicated. You have to really get go to the math board. They're old school, man. Solve them. They're like so French old toast, school. French kiss. Yeah, he French, French toast, toast, French kiss. Okay, there okay. It is. Yeah, hey, that, come that on. I'm a funny guy. I like that. Thank you, chat. We're like crowdsourcing the interpretation. <laughs> we need a lot of these we, jokes. Need, we need a big thing here to <laughs> decode these. So, uh, I feel like I have to explain every joke. You look like Truman Capote in Heat. Take the hat off, will you? Jesus Take the hat off, will you? That was rude or compliment. That was totally rude. It was rude. Go. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, you're just being you're just being mad at him. <laughs> that was a great exchange. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta watch that again. Heat. Take the hat off, will you? Jesus Christ, lady. I'm not sure if that was rude or compliment. That was totally rude. rude. It was rude. Go. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What on earth? Why are you angry at them now? Jeez. Get the fuck out of my face, lady. It was rude. <laughs> so, come on. Someone in the chat said, this is like Michael Scott trying to be Don Rickles. Oh, okay. Totally. That's, that's good. Yeah. yeah. That, that helps yeah, me understand that. what's going yeah. on here. A little bit. Yeah. This is Peppy. 
Your teeth look like the Spice Girls. They're all going in different directions and different <laughs> colors. Again. How many times does he use the Spice Girls joke for this? Countless. Good. What are you, an agent? It's actually not that good of a joke because teeth generally are one color, right? I mean, for the most part. Well, that time he said they're all going different directions. He says they're different colors and they all go different directions. Okay, right. I mean, I guess if you have rotted teeth. Yeah. It's a little, it's not that good to say 20 times, though. But okay. The first, uh, Attorney or just a, a rich Iranian guy that is hanging out? <laughs> Who's watching the limo? I think we parked in a, a red fire lane. <laughs> We're here at the Ivy for lunch. Jimmy Lee and Zach from H3. Poor guy's checking his limo door behind Jimmy. You see that? Yeah. Who did that, Jimmy? No, it was no. the uh, the guy, guy that hates Zach. I think we parked in a, a red <laughs> Zohan, yeah. fire lane. <laughs> We're here at the Ivy for lunch. Jimmy Lee and Zach from H3H3. This has absolutely got to be the absolute worst food, but they beg, they beg, they call me. Constantly to come in, so we're going to go in. You got me in for tomorrow? I think the Peninsula called. They put for me tomorrow? in around 1 o'clock. Jimmy today? Lee. We're on Kimmel tonight, by the way. Oh, okay. Good yeah. for you guys. Yeah. Uh, one Let's second, guys. Yeah, nice scene. We'll be in tomorrow. I'm just going to hit the bathroom quick. He was confirming his reservation for tomorrow night. That's what he was doing. So he, so he drove us to this restaurant, said, get the cameras, roll the cameras. Yeah. Went in, took a, took a piss. Yeah. And now we're leaving. Yeah. Well, this, th th this was very odd. <laughs> he drove you guys to a restaurant to confirm the reservation. Right. Did he try to get a table maybe for lunch and they said we don't have one available? No, he wanted to film in the Ivy because he he feels the Ivy is like the place to be for him. Like that's the end all be all. That's the Hollywood LA restaurant. So he wanted, he to, wanted to film people there. Right. They were like, no. Right. So he he wanted to frame it like we just ate there. Because that's like... Like a David Blaine kind of thing. Sure, yeah. Or like he wants to be like, oh, I'm Jimmy Lee. I'm famous. I eat at the Ivy. He know? even pulled the Jimmy uh, Kimmel card on him. but he, he did that, but all in reality, he just went to go take a piss, which um, <sighs> we heard, which was pretty funny. Um, you heard him pee? Yeah. Cause he Strong stream his... or weak stream? Uh, it, it was... It was... <laughs> His prostate might need a you yeah, know, check. Yeah, dribble. But, um, I get it. That happens with old age. Yeah. Okay. Set up. We had a great meal. Oh, Zach. So he's pretending like they ate there? Fantastic. Right. Listen, I got picked up by a hooker. I dropped my pants. He dropped the price. It was a rough night. All right. There's nobody lower than this girl here. Not even you. How's the food, guys? Good? Zach. I want to say something. What actually happened? So, so he, he he's kicking him out now, right? Because they said don't film here now. So is Jimmy sort of bringing us along in his reality that he is creating himself? Yeah. Like the guy who staged the Ellen thing. It's kind of what we're doing. Today. <laughs> it's such a good observation. Oh, okay. He's actively getting yelled at behind you as we speak. We're gonna go before Austin picks us up and throws us out. It's hot diggity dog time then he... with H three H three and. The Jersey Outlaw. Work with us. Work with me. I'm gonna get kicked out of here before we get to eat. Pink's hot dogs, the worst hot dogs in LA, and we get stuck here with this guy. The worst place to eat. What are you the doing? Guys. Say, I, I just that seems so like mean to be saying that in front of the restaurant. I've never eaten there, by the way. How are the hot dogs? Fantastic. Oh. Pretty bad. Oh, you guys didn't even like it? I, no. I thought they were good. Huh. I mean, I haven't right. been there. So maybe for he was years. telling the truth. I've been going there for years. Because there's like huge lines, so you'd think it's that famous, something special was going it's on. not good. Hmm. But I haven't had it in years, so I don't know. Maybe they've stepped it up a little bit. It was really bad. It's not the kind of place that steps it up, you know what I mean? Cam said yeah. it was really bad. Cam, yeah, I didn't Cam like said it, it's no. really bad. Love didn't like it. <laughs> Even Love didn't like it. No. Nope. God, I think I gotta go to the bathroom again, you guys. Oh, no. Got it, Trevor. Oh. God damn it. Right over there. Say hello to Trevor. Hey, how are you? Good. It's a black guy. You can talk to him. He's not going to do anything. <laughs> what the fuck? Show. Okay. The Look at the respect they put on those dogs for him after t shit talking their establishment. Damn. They, they, they asked me to say that. Jimmy, uh, Zach's, Zach's feelings might be a little hurt because he feels like he's not. Are he's you being shunned out? No, I'll put, I'll, get, I'll put you in. Put in the you guys. No, I'm not. I just get <laughs> That's so much. That's too much.
<laughs> when I Poor Jimmy. I, don't, I, don't fuck I do see the resemblance, though. That being said, your flow, up, man. We'll get you in. Work with me. We'll get you in. What? How long you guys been going? Like five hours? Yeah. We'll, we'll get you in there. I gotta. I gotta go to the bathroom. This is just. This is so fucked up. <laughs> you guys. God damn it. All right. I'm gonna try. Maybe if I just sit up and sit on it. I like bingo. Bingo. You can do it. Try. Bingo. No. Bingo. Bingo. Like you, yeah, like you sound like Al Pacino. Bingo. Ooh, bingo. No, no. Bingo. <laughs> Try it. Bingo. That's it. <laughs> Get awesome. ready to go on Jimmy Kim. By the way, I like the way you said it first, Zach, to be honest. I think you have kind of hit the post there a little bit. You were in the uh, pocket with that one. I appreciate that. And this is the point where I was starting to get really mad. <laughs> Why? I was just done. I you, was done for the. How day. many hours into the day was this with Jimmy? Shit, Ian, what was this? Five? Yeah, yeah probably. Ian, he, want, I, he, he wanted to do ten hours. Is that right? He something like that. He after where we we're about to go, he wanted to go to like Venice and then another place, and he had the limo like all day and all night. I'm like, dude, I I can't do this. And Ian kept he he was being a really good producer of the segment because he kept pushing me and pushing me and pushing me yeah i see ian's uh invisible hand there pushing trying to push things into, <laughs> yeah we into making sense a little bit he, at the at the start he showed us his itinerary which i believe was 9 a.m to 7 p.m that all over insane. los angeles and about 90 minutes in we were getting pretty tired <laughs> yeah that's, that's a lot <laughs> but yeah. ian's like but I this this guy who's in his 70 has more has so much stamina what is going on with jimmy because he, he loves the idea of like him being famous he's and, got like, drive doing this to people like he loves it he's obsessed with it that limo ride didn't look very comfortable zach i gotta go it was awful you guys looked a little stuck <laughs> sorry everyone i'll be back <laughs> Please no. You know, the thing is, I, I know he looks up to Don Rickles, but if I could give Jimmy some advice, first of all, Don Rickles was what, 60 years ago? Yeah, when, I mean, it's old I mean, dated. Cool. Yeah. Style yeah. Comedy. Also, old dated. when people would go into Don's show, they knew what they were getting into. These are just people on the streets. They didn't sign up for this show. Right. right. There's I a mean, huge difference. Rickles would be in the Copacabana, and you're right. You'd be expected to be roasted. Yeah. Jimmy's just like some fucking stranger that's walking up to you. Hey, you're ugly. Right, you know, yeah. so which I saw him do, which is just like wait, just straight up, like, hey, what's up? You're ugly. Yeah, it was it was a, a quick one. I don't even know if we got it on film. Kind of like the uh, the eye patch uh, comment. Pretty much, he just like, hey, you're ugly. Yeah, I, yep. I, when I was watching you guys at the restaurant, it reminds me of the old H three video because like once he's on a roll, there's no stopping him. He's just no. bouncing no. person to person, and he's got to let him do his thing. It's like a when he wave when he goes from James to Jimmy Lee, it's uh, it's Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. Yeah, <laughs> well, so. I gotta say, Zach, you handled yourself well. well I would. That's th this is the first thing I've ever missed out on. I think shoot wise, because I would have had a panic attack. You're lucky. So I commend you. And a lot of behind the scenes, you know, we didn't show it, but Zach was good, and everyone, but especially Zach, was calming down the crowd and uh, doing damage control. So I was getting frustrated. Good job. Thank you. I appreciate that. But I was just getting. I was at my point of just like, fuck this shit. Somebody said the uh, the Spice Girls joke that he kept uh, saying was stolen word for word from Nikki Glaser at the roast of Rob Lowe. Oh. Oops. A little Oops. Uh, Jimmy Mencia over here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta say though, I, I would guess Jimmy has the most original content for the most part. Though. Original, because you don't understand it. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, it's it's. There's something to be said of the, uh, just being able to have a rolodex of that many one-liners. Mm -hmm. I guess. I mean, mm -hmm. I know that they're all bad, but like I couldn't. Right. Yeah. Just think on of cue. like just on cue. Hit he's people quick. With... Yeah, I mean, he's quick. <laughs> he's got that. But give him that. He's quick, but is it funny? Well, it's the right. Yeah. It's a different story. There, there were, you know, some extreme times, and I, we just, we don't condone that. We don't condone the, the severe shit. How, how did you feel, Ian, behind the camera? Was it, were you any more comfortable? Oh, you know, Zach was in front of it with him. I don't know. How were you feeling? Oh, I was super comfortable. <laughs> 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 no, no, it was very painful uh, the whole day. But, uh, you know, Zach was being such a good sport. Yeah. And it was nice to... <laughs> 
<laughs> we all kind of got to commiserate as it was happening. You know, mm. we'd go off in little group and be like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> but then Love could hear Jimmy on the mic because uh, Jimmy was mic'd up. Mm -hmm. So as we'd be talking like, this is, cr we got to get out of here, man. We're all tired. This is ridiculous. And then Love will be like, I hear Jimmy. He He's saying that he thinks that we're all mad at him and... Oh, you know, damn. Yep. I know it was it was tough. We it's a yeah, it. it's a weird situation with him because I don't know, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it. But you kind of want to feel bad for him, but then he just takes some not long to be like, oh, okay, never mind. It's hard to feel bad for him. What's that what quote? He's saying? What's that quote? Like once that come out, they always try to bring me back in. Mm -hmm. What is that from? Godfather Three. Yeah, <laughs> I should know that. One of the three movies that you quote endlessly, probably. Third one, not so much. I guess, yeah. Less so the third one. One moment that we we didn't get on camera, we weren't recording, but uh, Jimmy pissed off some guy on a bike. <laughs> and then uh, we J the guy was like, if you're going to put me in your video, I want some cash. And oh, then, yeah. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmy didn't want to do that. He was like, get in the limo. Get in the limo. We got in the limo. We drove like 15 minutes away. <laughs> and then... And a couple minutes later, he's telling his jokes, and this guy rolls up on the bike. Jimmy goes, "Oh no, not this guy!" And the <laughs> guy's like, "Come on!" Followed us. And Jimmy tossed him like twenty bucks. He's like, "All right, let's get out of here." Wow. He fucking. <laughs> yeah, I think Ethan's right. He must have got that security guard after having a, like, an actual experience. Oh yeah, because sure. Jimmy, in in some of his other videos, he'll go out, and he'll go with what he calls the, his terms, bandito girls. And it's these two girls that he goes around with and, you know, less intimidating, I guess. Right. Um, but Cam, Cam gets saying, he's like, thank God I'm behind this fucking camera. <laughs> like, yeah, I got to say, I think you yeah. guys came back that day and you guys all bonded, like some real trauma bonding between you guys. Oh, no <laughs> doubt. There was, yeah. I could not believe that whole day, man. Like, it was like, what doesn't come through on the final edit is that he was nonstop. There was no off switch for him. I was very impressed with his energy, like we've said, but he was bouncing around from person to person all day. Right. <laughs> with no off. Yeah. It, it <laughs> was. It, it was just like a lot at once, and I was hiding my face behind the camera the whole time because I couldn't even look at people. <laughs> yeah. But um, everyone did a great job, the four of us. And I gotta say, the reason why it took so long to air this final edit is because the first cut, we cut all his bad jokes, and uh, it just made him look pretty innocent for the most part. And then we included this: what you see is what you get. Right. right. That was tripping me out. The, day. No, the bunny. Was it looked cool. like the bunny was moving its mouth as Cam was talking. <laughs> Are you the bunny, the bunny, Cam. Oh shit! Bunny Cam. Cam talk. Cam talk. Hi everybody, it's me, the bunny, that. here on uh, Off the Rails today. I'm a talking bunny. Thanks for tuning <laughs> right, in today, and our toilet, boss is back. I can't sit down here for like I need like ten minutes for my butthole to cool off. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be able to sit down anytime soon. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, the only thing we cut Cam was when he may have committed a crime, right? Yeah, that's gone. Yeah, and like other was... like just general cringe jokes, but these this is kind of like the uh, the top. Of the uh, cringe jokes. All right, sorry guys, I'm trying my best here. <clears throat> Dibble, the outlaw and Zach. We're going over now to talk to the producers. Oh, there's security there. Will they chase you? No. Be careful, there's a car. Good. Yeah, you're good. No, you're not. There's a bus. Stop, <laughs> stop. There's a bus. All right, back it up. Go, 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 go before this car comes. Go. No, the guard's going. Stop. He didn't wait. <laughs> if you drop us off in front of Kimmel, that could be a good move, right? Getting close to Kimmel. It's okay. Arms out, Zach. <laughs> Do I know you? I don't know. I don't think so. I met you 20 years ago in Philly. You were having sex with my cousin. <laughs> and I didn't even know you knew Irving. Got him. He's cousin's a guy. Oh wow! Hilarious. Fucking wrecked, bro. He just called Did, you gay. Oh, I see that coming. That guy's like, I was born 20 years ago, dog. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're like three times his age for sure. Yeah. Bingo. Bingo. That's it. No. Oh. Still have another three minutes here, guys. It's approximately. I think YouTube pulled the plug. 
Hey, YouTube. It's not playing. Try refreshing it. See what time stamp you're at. It's at 1451. Alright. It's actually Google Drive. Yeah. It's not... Okay. 14. Here we go. Bingo! 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 Alright, let's get him, boys. Do you guys know where the Jimmy Kimmel show is? That's not a joke, right? He's actually looking. So the guy said, keep it moving and walk. So can you walk past it again, do jokes and keep it moving, or you don't do it? And this way you get noticed. You're not going to get noticed across the street. Guys, rumor has it, we're going to be on Jimmy Kimmel. Right now, it's a big rumor. Let's go. You look good. What happened? Hi. How are you doing? That's Zach. He's the celebrity. They don't know who I am. Go on a diet. Well, obviously. But you got to remember, so if I do a joke and you see me stop, go bingo, but do it loud. see how pissed like I am right there. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Aller, we're down here at the Jimmy Kimmel Show. We may be getting on. <laughs> Ted Turner's here. Hold on. Holy shit. That looks like Teddy. Teddy. Come here, Teddy. Come say hello. We don't bite. Come here, you stinker. How you been, Teddy? It's a nice sap, but you look like you just got out. How you been? Good? Where are you going? I'm, I'm good, but I'm not who you think I am. So they're chasing you from here. There are people waiting to walk through. Clash of security Bingo. guards. Bingo! So what's happening here? <laughs> so, um, that was Kimmel's security guard, and I guess they were shooting something, and we couldn't stand still. And He was like, move it along, guys. Right, right, right. So Jimmy's like, had this idea, if we kept walking back and forth, roasting people, then that would suffice and be okay, but clearly not. Well, the best part, which which we explained before, but he actually was in the background of one of the shots. Right. Which we should yeah. show. Uh, right. So funny. He got on. Oh no. Kim was on this side. Now, why did um? Why oh, here did it is. Say Look at this. <laughs> How amazing Bingo! is that? How amazing <laughs> is Jump, that? run. Jump. How you doing? You look good. Did a bus hit you on an angle? How's this one? Do? I was like, let me guess. He's gonna call her ugly. Yep. <laughs> I know what she had for lunch. A lot. Okay, so oh that's my a nice foot soldier there, and now Jimmy Lee's <laughs> acting like them. Well, they just unsubscribed. Zach, kneel down. Ladies and gentlemen, the cat cannot film here without permission. We're with the city. No, He's with the city. All right, we're Wait, just going to still. They, it was like security or someone for the Chinese theater. Oh, they're like, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, did Jimmy acknowledge or... They start doing start doing shit with the guy. Let's see. Kneel down. We're with the city, I guess. <laughs> oh, which city? Bingo! What happened to you? You like a bank? You lost interest? I'm fading. You are. Fading. We're all getting tired. Zach, when you do a joke, pretend even though it's canned and you you know it. Hey, you know almost and you mean like like you just thought of it. Ask him where he got his shirt. Does it come free when he bangs a 13 year old kid from Thailand? Nice. Ask Zach how he's doing with the comedy. Did he wait? Yeah, you, you heard you know, that right. Hey, you know, almost, and you mean, like, like, you just thought of it. Ask him where he got his shirt. Does it come free when he bangs a 13-year-old kid from Thailand? Don't ask him that. Dude, there, there was, <laughs> there was, like, one joke he kept having me, like, try and say, and I just wouldn't do it. Dude, he was trying, he was sending you to get killed over there. <laughs> he just, he's relentless, Nice dude. shit. Did you fuck kids in Thailand? Did Pretty you get much, it? yeah. I mean, just the next level of racism, like, and just, uh... Well, we love that for him, don't we, folks? <sighs> well, what was the joke? Do you remember? I do remember. I don't want to say it, though. Come on. No. No, I'm not going to say it. If it's that bad. I'll tell you off air. Really? It's it's bad. But it's... Don't say it. Not, okay, it's that bad. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> hey, Zach, how he's doing with the comedy? How you doing with the comedy, Zach? It's fucking awful, dude. This shit, right. you know what, Jimmy? I can't, I, I can't uh, do this anymore. I'm fucking done. I appreciate all the help. All right. There you go. Right. Avita Zane. I guess there's only one Jersey outlaw. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That'll always be true. Well, there you go. Good job, guys. Good job. You really went out there and made something happen. It's a tough day, it looked like, eh? Dude, I'm still recovering from that shit. <laughs> Well, is Jimmy online? He sure is. All right, well, let's talk to the outlaw himself. All right, one moment. This is the... Uh, st he's recently been appeared on shows such as Jimmy Kimmel, <laughs> the H3 podcast. He is the Jersey outlaw, dangerously funny street comedian, Jimmy... 
Jimmy, you there? Jimmy, my man, what's going on? How are you feeling? You got a round of applause. When I get older, I get a round of menopause. You get a round of menopause? Well, when I get a little older, I'll get a round of menopause. You just gave me a round of applause, but when I get older, I'll probably get a round of menopause. Why would you get menopause if you're a man? That was the joke. I'm a guy. Okay, but <laughs> wait, I don't get it. <laughs> Jimmy, I noticed your, your hairline's looking crispy today. Yeah, Zach asked me to, to fix it up, so I flew in um, I flew in the guy from L.A. to fix it up for you. I wanted to do that. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. Uh, Zach, Zach ripped me up last time. I figured he'll have something to rip me up for today. So, Jimmy, the last time we had, I mean, you, I assume you've been watching the show, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so you know kind of the comments and reactions to your genre of comedy. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the last time we had you on, we kind of give you some notes like, you know, less, less mean, maybe like the ones that I liked in yours was really the um, self deprecating jokes really resonated, you know, uh, okay. uh, you clearly didn't take any of that feedback to heart. Do you think what you're doing is working or you think maybe you're good time to adjust or what, what's your thoughts? on uh, that? Well, I do want to say something on air that um, I want to talk to you about. The comedy I do is kind of to laugh at ourselves and have fun. Um, and I, I don't think people know that. A lot of them that don't know me, I have a lot of haters. And I'm, I, if they understood, it's it's just comedy to laugh at ourselves and have fun and enjoy. Um, well, yes, can I challenge you a little bit on that, Jimmy? Comedy, yes. I mean, you walked up to um, a young girl and told her she basically just called her ugly, right? And you said, it looks like a bus hit you. I, I did say that. Yeah. So, uh, maybe more. So more I know in this time you probably are right. You have to just. The problem is, as you said earlier in your podcast, once I go, it's hard to stop me. Once I go, from, right? Yeah, we you know, noticed that. And I go, it's almost like um, uh, that's it. There's no filter. You know, there's no political correctness or anything. I want your fans to know that. I do this for fun. I'm not a really mean spirited person. I'm, I'm deep down a good guy. I just want to have fun get noticed a little bit and do the type of comedy I grew up on. I, I don't have a mean bone in my body. I don't want people to hate me for it. I want them to realize what I'm doing is to, it's like a, what Don Rickles did when I was a kid, which he did insult style comedy. The only difference is he was famous and people knew ahead of time what he was doing. That's right. People not. went there with the expectation that he was going to rip them apart. So, so when right. you just kind of rub shoulders with someone on the street and you're like, hey, take off the hat. What's wrong with you? And they go, are you being rude? And you go, yeah, I am. Get the hell out of here. Right. No, you're you're correct. You're correct. And uh, I'm sometimes not self-aware of what I'm doing when I when I get on that. You get role, in the mood. I get in that that, that yeah. character mood. And um, when I was watching your podcast from two weeks ago and reading the comments, I really realized that. Uh, a lot of people don't like what I do, and I figured maybe if we do, what I what I do is just to make fun of e each other in fun and not to be mean spirited about it. But I'm a good natured person, and maybe they'd accept me more and understand what I do isn't isn't to be malicious and mean. It's just to style the comedy and the character I do. Right. I actually believe you because I, I I've spent like time you. with you when you're not on, and I right. do I do yeah I do I would say you're not a malicious person. You're a sweet man, right? I, I want to apologize to, to the fans out there if I upset them because it's not my um, intention to do that. And I feel bad because despite how I act in my persona, I am a sensitive person and I do care about people. I own a bunch of dental offices. I have a lot of nice dental patients. I have a nice family. You ever do stick with on your uh, patients, Jimmy? Uh, certain ones that know me, but I'll, I'll be honest, Ethan, with the way things have been now with the, the economy and COVID, not as much because people are very... They get uptight so easy. You don't want to but risk I'm, losing any clients at this time. Correct. Which that, before you were willing to lose some clients. You made that comment when we made the frescoes and you had You're like, I'm willing to lose a few. Uh... Uh, well, yeah. what's interesting about clients at a dentist's office is what's good for you, Paul, potentially, is they can't leave. Well, they can. They it's can a captive stay, audience. Not, yeah. Yeah. You but I, I just wanted, I wanted to apologize. More like a captured crew. audience. I, I wanted to apologize to your crew and to your fans if I upset people because it's not ever my intention for that to happen. It's just I like to be fun and go and, and, and have fun. That's really all I do. I'm an older guy just trying to enjoy things a little bit and be a little lighthearted. 
Yeah, I think the problem is that it doesn't come off lighthearted. I mean, Zach, do you want to say anything, or Ian, or Cam, or or anyone who was there on that day? Uh, you have any feedback for Jimmy here? I mean, Jimmy, we we know you on like a personal level, and you you really do have a good heart. You really do. When it when you're when you're James, <laughs> not not Jimmy Lee, right. when you're James, right? Um, but you know, we were just out there to observe you, and again, you know, no ill will. We just wanted to follow you but there were times where it felt a little harsh it was a little it was a little too harsh the, the shock factor is i think what gets the attention and yeah sure they does. Buy all jokes and right uh, some people like that i feel like this is turning into an in- intervention Jimmy. that's yeah. not my intention <laughs> i didn't want it like that i just wanted to speak how i felt from my heart and tell you how i felt and i wanted to apologize to people if i upset them I'll be okay honest. all right so um are you working on any new material, maybe to meet, to meet the times? Like, are you st- are you writing some kind of new, maybe some yeah. newish? Yeah. In fact, my sweatsuit is Armani. Do you like it? That says Adidas on it, right in the front. No, it's Armani, Salvation Armani. Salvation. Armani. Armani. That's funny. Yeah, I mean that's, that's better. That's more on the, the spectrum of the self deprecation again. Yeah. You know. That, but it says Adidas on the front. I know, but you know how good my comedy TV shows doing, Ethan. I'll back out good. I'm the only guy that knows about it. Yeah, that's see that that's good. I like when you do those jokes. In fact, the, the, the LA press gave me two thumbs down, and the Hollywood press gave me one finger up. <laughs> there you go. I like that. And uh, I'll tell you, I'm doing so good at my show, I can't even get in to see me. Say that one again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing so good at my TV show, I can't even get in to see me. Right. You can't even get in to see yourself perform. Right. Because it doesn't exist? Or what's like, is that a metaphysical joke? No, it's sarcastic because it's, it's not doing well. I can't even get in to see me. Oh, because it doesn't exist. Kind of, sort of. There you right. go. Okay, interesting. Can I ask you some questions? We wanted to decode some of the jokes. Trick or treat Charlie. Can you explain that one? Just like you're dressing loud and crazy like you're a Halloween person, like in a costume. It's not as deep as you guys were trying to make it. It's just goofy for Halloween. I call you Trick or Treat Charlie. It what is just, Charlie a reference to? It's just a, a, a thing I came up with. I have no idea. <laughs> Good. I think you guys are well, trying gen- to read into the jokes a little too right. deep. It's just tr- well, generally, I mean, okay. Well, Jerry Seinfeld says when he writes a joke, you know, he focuses on every word needs to be perfect. You know, that's not your mantra. That's not no, how you approach well, I comedy. No, I go, and whatever yeah. comes out unfiltered comes out. And it, and sometimes the jokes don't make sense, but yeah, it is what it is. Oh, I wanted to ask you. You were telling a black gentleman on the tour bus, the war is over. Which war were you referring to? Say it one more time. There was a black gentleman on a tour bus, and you were saying, hey, the war is over. You can run now. What, which war were That's you referring to? That was probably the Civil War. That was probably Holy Civil shit, War. bro. <laughs> you can't be making Civil War references. Also, the ref- kind of referencing him as a freed slave is just a lot, I think, right now. I think the racial stuff's so so bad now, and I I done it. I should think not. I don't even think that's been good for decades. Probably, I think that one's. No, probably... I, I don't even think in the slightest vein you can do it. In the slightest vein. But you anymore. did it. <laughs> but I but I did it. Yeah, you did. Because Zach Zach asked me to. <laughs> Time out. What? Wait. Yeah. What? I said Zach asked me to do it. I'm jo- joking. Oh, okay. You. Okay. Well. Well. Okay. <laughs> Zach, did you tell him to make a Civil War joke? I don't even think I could comprehend or come up with a Civil War joke. <laughs> the war's over. That's pretty wild. Then you made another one to my black friend. The war's over. Everything's good. And you said, jump, run. I could, you said, I could have been in the Olympics if I was black. Do you want to unpack that one? Yeah, I, I, it's just an old school joke. When we were kids, most of the people in the Olympics that were the runners were black. So I said, I could have been a black guy. I could have been in the Olympics. I didn't want to go in. Right. But the, I guess the joke is that you could never be a black guy because you're a white guy. Right. Then I said, uh, I don't know if I said the punch, but I said, the Jews don't go in the Olympics. We own the stadiums. I don't know if I used that punch. But Wait, but hold on. Are you Jewish? Jewish? Yeah. You are? Mm-hmm. Part Jewish. How, how part? Uh, 50%. On which side? My mom's half and my dad's half. Both his is mom that... and his dad are half Jewish. <laughs> wait, I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> wow. 
Okay. Man, that's rough. The Jews owning the stadium, the black athletes. It's very dangerous. They're stereotypic Jimmy. jokes that we're but those are. Up. Yeah, you got to drop those out of your routine, buddy. Yeah. yeah. The good thing is I don't think most people even understand what you're saying, so it doesn't escalate. Right. I think the jokes are antiquated where they're funny to people older like me. They got them in the 80s, not, not today. I know. I'm aware of that, too. Can I guess your age, Jimmy? Yeah. Will you tell it's me? It's not <laughs> Wait, come on. Be you, you, got me, you got me, like, way older. So I told Zach. I told Zach what I was. Yeah, what are, how old are you? 60. You told him 50, didn't you? Oh, originally I said 54, but then he asked the truth, and I told him. 60? Um, will, you show, will you send Zach a picture of your license? I'm going to send you my driver's license. Okay, I, that, see, that, I that. asked you to do that, but you wouldn't. <laughs> I feel like I'm going into a club. <laughs> yeah, called prison. Well, that's, that's, that's my next move. That's my next move. Stop laughing. It's not funny. All right. Uh, what else? We also have... Um, I want, I want, you said something about having a mutual orgasm. But you said yes, State Farm. So it's an old joke where I go up to an older couple. I say, "Do you have you and your wife have mutual orgasm?" And they say, "No, we have State Farm," because they think the mutual orgasm is like insurance. Okay, so we were on the right. <laughs> oh, track. we have State Farm. Right. It's an old style joke, but it's funny again to older people. Young people don't understand it. Maybe do you consider put, putting on a show? Maybe at like a retirement home or hospice care or something. No, maybe I should retire and quit. <laughs> That's I not what I'm saying, but maybe just the, the uh, Oscars the other night. The thing my is, wife you, said, maybe you should quit. Yeah, well, because Will Smith, uh, you know, Chris Rock insulted his wife. He went up and slapped her. So my wife's like, "That's going to happen to you. Maybe it's time to to walk away." She did tell me that. Are you afraid? So, I mean, stress, what? It, what are your has thoughts? Has that ever happened to you? Has anybody assault, tried to assault you for something you said? No, about? no, but people will get upset, but I have a good vibe on people. And you got to remember, I have two security guards. With yeah, those guys are big. Nothing's really, really happening bad. But um, I think my comedy doesn't work as well with the new, the new way the world is, and especially since COVID. Uh, my my mm, jokes. Way before but, COVID, Jimmy. Well, then maybe way before COVID. Yeah, maybe just too old style for people. Well, that's what I'm saying. You need an audience who gets your jokes. So maybe go to like bingo night or something and do the opening night for bingo. Yeah, bingo. Or, or quit. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah. Uh, work with me. I'm just work saying. Or, or you're going to have to. You're going to have to freshen up your material. Um, but what did maybe you think of the Chris fine. Rock? What did you think of Will Smith, Smith slapping Chris Rock? So what I thought is, because I do that kind of comedy, I don't think you need to hit someone if they do it. And if you get upset after the shaking door, I would say it really wasn't nice. But, you know, I mean, Chris Rock's a comedian. So just like I try to do comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe not well, but I try. You got to give me effort for that. And, um, you know, you have to uh, give him credit. But he said the wrong thing to the wrong person. And that's what I'm afraid of is going to happen to me yeah. when I'm on the street, too, because uh, the world's escalating in the wrong direction. And I in the wrong direction? Of, I, How do you mean? Well, for for me, I, 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 I'm going to try to, and I was talking to some people about it, try to write new material that's more current and pertinent so I can be more funny to, like, the boomers and the people your age. I've been thinking about doing Boomers? That. Those are old people. No, no, the people that, that are young. Like people I like mean, I'm, 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 what, am, what are we, millennials? But boomers are like my parents. I mean, those well, are then, old. Then, uh, millennials. I meant millennials. Yeah. That's what I meant. What yeah. generation are you? Uh, I, I guess I'm a baby boomer from the 60s, right? Yeah. So I guess the millennials, right? That's what I meant. Not the greatest generation? And the Gen Zs. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what, but what do you mean? That's going to be my writer. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 my, my honest feedback is maybe, maybe work with a younger writer to kind of help with because it seems to be something you really love, and I don't want to take that away from you. I think I have the whole charisma down, how I do stuff. I think I need maybe younger style jokes that people yeah. like before, and I'm not so disliked and hated being too, too much insult comedy and too much antiquated comedy. That's what, that's what I think where it's going. Oh, AB has a good point. Have you, uh, have you considered getting on TikTok? He's big on there. Oh, no, I'm pretty good on TikTok. And on YouTube. I knew he would be. Wait, really? hold the phone. Let me look up your TikTok. Hold on. What's, yeah, what's <laughs> oh, I got the key. 
Ethan, I got the Keemstar guy up there. I'm getting a, I'm, that video went viral for the Keemstar guy. <laughs> it did. On my TikTok at the Jersey Outlaw. Jimmy Lee. TikTok. And you'll see I put up the Keemstar guy a couple of times. Watch it. It's got a lot of views. No way. Yeah. Okay, you got 30,000 followers. Fine. Mm -hmm. Jersey's funniest guy. Dude, I'm going to follow. I appreciate that. Yeah, but like, it's getting a little hard. I'm just going to say, like, yeah, I I think you got to just maybe your son. You have a son, right? Is he interested in maybe writing some more relevant jokes with you? My youngest son kind of is helping me along with this, and he gives me good advice. I don't know if he's a writer for jokes, but he he told me, Dad, you gotta if you do want to do it, you gotta stop insulting people so much and do more current jokes that people understand. Your jokes are funny for people your age, not for the younger people. Right. It seems like you right. have people and around you telling the right thing. Yeah, which is what you said. Yeah, what do you think about the lady who you said, I got my eye on you? So to me, I thought it was hysterical. And, and Zach, or one twice. of your guys, thought it was awful and, and a really <laughs> offensive. And the guy got mad, which made me laugh. And I yeah, he did. He said, keep your eye off her. I said, I got my eye on you. Because she had the patch. He probably had a cataract operation. And then there was an ophthalmologist in there who I did the rectal optitis joke to, which was funny. So I, I was walking through the restaurant, uh, Ethan, and I said to this guy, you're Jewish? He says, no. He says, get out. It's a Jewish deli. So I thought I was funny, but I don't know if anybody else did. You no. know what I mean? <laughs> I, that, I'm that's afraid the not. Right there. Jim, no, that's I don't the know. Yeah. Yeah. The, the eye joke seemed to hit with a decent percentage of, of okay. the chat. So. I mean, it was funny. It was just, a, it was very uncomfortable, but it was funny. Actually, yeah, there's lots of love in the chat for the eye joke, Jimmy. So maybe okay. what you should do, maybe a good strategy is to go up to like the most fucked up looking people <laughs> and then, uh, you can find it and then just, just go in on them, right? Rip them. Yeah. yeah but you had, a, you had a very good point you said in your other podcast where if someone's ripping me like the podcast kid and I come back at him, it's funny. But to go up to random people that don't know me and start hammering them isn't funny. And That's the problem. I took, that, I took that point to heart that you said that and maybe right. that's another good point. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Jimmy. We know you're a good guy. I want to give you a, a redemption arc. So here's what I want. Let's write some new material. Let's go back on the street, and let's try the tamer jokes this time, the le more self-deprecating or less insulting, and let's see okay. how it hits. Let's see. Could you think you're up for that assignment, or are you ready to throw the cards and you're done? No, I was planning on coming out in May. I had mentioned to Zach today, and maybe what I would do is start getting an arsenal of self-deprecating jokes more and less offensive jokes and maybe more jokes for younger audiences and just do the same thing in the limo with the guards and, 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 and the, same back, the same vibe but with different material. You have any new jokes you, you want to – a better response. You, you have any new jokes you want to hit us with before we say goodbye? Well, I had so much gas last night, I thought mm. I was being followed by Arabs. Uh, I don't know. I don't... <laughs> what else? What else? You wait, got? wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I let, I let wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Next joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. joke after the whole conversation we just had. <laughs> I lent a friend twenty-five thousand. Wait, hold on, hold on. Don't move on yet. <laughs> So the joke is that Arabs smell like farts? No, gas. Arabs sell gas. Oh, they I sell so gas. much gas last night. Yeah, I thought I was being followed now, dude, by yeah. Arabs. They sell gas and oil. Oh, <laughs> you know, Amy, is that right? It's yeah, not you want all the gas stations. <laughs> My dad used yeah. to own gas stations. It's a little rough. It sounds like you're, they are saying they stink. No, no, no. I had so much gas last night, I thought I was being followed by Arabs because that's what they... They make their money in gas and oil. But you're saying oh. you farting. You are farting. So well, like. gas, I use jokes as a pun. Right. So here's another one, Ethan. I lent a friend of mine $20,000 last week for plastic surgery, and now I can't find the son of a bitch. Because he got a face, because he changed his whole appearance? Right. Right. That's, a, that's, that's not an offensive joke. No, it's not. No, the not the Arab one, I think, dropped. <laughs> the Arab one dropped. That didn't okay. hit. You want to keep trying material, and we'll tell you if it passes? The, uh, um, the sniff test, this is, so to speak. I would this love is to more Arab ones. Yeah, well, you have any more late. Arab ones for AB? I was he laid asked, back. by the way. Don't yell yeah, at me. No, I, I, I'm, I'm interested. I was laid back in high school, but I haven't been late since. Okay, that's okay. fine. Yeah. It's a good one. 
Uh, again, when, to... when you're when he's the when you're your own target, you know it. It I think it turns people off a little bit less. <laughs> that Arab shit was fucking killer, dude. Uh, <laughs> but don't say uh, that. Be, don't say I, that. Yeah. Don't. All right. I used to be indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. That's good. Ah. I mean, I'm doing dry humor, but it's it's not offensive humor. It's not really my character, humor, but yeah, not I exactly like it's not exactly like biting social commentary. See, Jimmy, I right. think I think your best joke is the one about the hooker, where you're like, "I hired a hooker last night. I dropped my pants. She dropped the price. She dropped the price." Yeah, that, I feel like that's your strongest joke. Wait, why? Because you had a big cock? No, because he's, he's no, a small no, no. Cock. I dropped oh. my pants. Because I, I think it would be funnier. I was thinking about that. If you go to a prostitute and you paid her a hundred bucks, and then when you drop your pants, she should charge you more because she's disgusted. No, she should give you her money back. That's even funnier. But she like it's funnier if they if she raises the price right if she gives you a discount it means she wants to have sex with you she raises the price she's like well I, I got another know. thing Zach to tell you I went I went even to a discount massage parlor I found out it was self service <laughs> that's that's great okay that's a good right. joke yeah <laughs> that I like uh, have, I'm having a rough time Ethan yeah I got two good looking kids and two ugly kids I don't bring them up nobody wants to hear about them what's the joke there. I got two good-looking kids and two ugly kids, but I don't bring them up. Nobody's interested in the ugly ones. Yeah, what's the joke? I have two good-looking kids, Ethan, and two ugly kids. <laughs> Maybe if I repeat it enough. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Do you guys have, am I missing something? I don't get this one either, Jimmy. No, he has two good-looking kids. I don't kids. either. I just made it up. Oh, okay, oh, interesting. Off the dome. <laughs> so you got two ugly kids. We don't talk about them, though, because they're I ugly. Got a, I got a fresh one. Mm-hmm. You got to tell me if you want it. Oh, of course. Okay, my wife's Chinese, and every Thursday night she's on her knees. See, that's a little rough. That one's. I know. See, that's that's the freshies. That's the fresh one. See, that that's not good. We need those. Okay, are, all right. We got to stay. We got to work on fresher. You, you no got race. The, uh, Arab ones. I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> no race, Jimmy. Do you have any Jew I'm jokes for the me? Arab pass. Yeah, Jewish jokes. I have. Let's I went go. Up to a Jewish woman in a restaurant. I said, "Is there anything here you do like?" Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I could see how that would the be worst. funny. Good, at, Jewish, good to a Jewish crowd, but... Jewish women, when you go to a Jewish comedy club, Ethan, there's a two-complaint minimum. <laughs> funny. And Jewish women in a household, if they're smoke, Ethan, they're salmon. <laughs> okay, I like that one. Where there's smoke, there's, there's salad. Salmon. No, salmon. if there's oh, smoke, salmon, there's salmon. It. And when there's dinner, Ethan, there's definitely leftovers. I think because you're Jewish, maybe these hit harder, you know? They seem more a sensitive. Woman, a Jewish woman, I'll tell you how they spell relief, Ethan. R O L E X. Rolex. Hmm. Okay. Not they don't sound like No, that I'm close. trying to do more appropriate, not fresh jokes. Yeah. I don't know if they're funny, but they're they're different. So <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm not disagreeing. I'm I'm that. enjoying the set though, if you want to keep going. I mean, this is great. Give well, me your most offensive ones. Let's let's uh -oh. let's just uh -oh. no, maybe not. No, let's do it. Uh, I, I take my wife to Vegas, Ethan, every year. She plays the slots, and I play the sluts. We haven't had one fight. Yeah, I'm curious what Jimmy thinks is offensive, so this will be really interesting. Because mm. the ones that Jimmy thinks aren't offensive are probably the worst ones by far. <laughs> All right, keep going well, with the offensive ones. Here's another one, Ethan. It's a clean one. I dated a girl when I was 25 years old. She had very early American features. When I met her, she looked a lot like a buffalo. What was that word you said? That you said some kind of condition? I said I had dated a girl when I was 25 who had very early American features. She looked a lot like a buffalo. Early American features. Oh. That one's very bad. <laughs> Don't, yeah, drop that one. Ethan, when I you was know what? Yeah, you, yeah, drop that one immediately. <laughs> Ethan, when I was 20 years old, I had sex in Las Vegas for the first time. I was young and I was frightened and I was alone. Right. <laughs> Not... What? <laughs> right. No. Okay. I tried to be gentle, Ethan, but it was hard. <laughs> and then, Ethan, I finally got a grip on myself. And wow. then my Italian father said, Jimmy, if you do that too much, you're going to go blind. I said, Pop, I'm over here. <laughs> right. <laughs> Chronic masturbator. Yeah. So, I mean, that's not being too offensive. That's like a little skit I wrote a while back. I had layers, different levels. Yeah, yeah, that one kept going. Yeah. But that one wasn't offensive. It was just about masturbating. Yeah, the Indian or the Native American one was very, very offensive. You understand you know, why, right? 
because you don't want to do jokes on ethnicity. Well, like, right. Yeah, like yeah. I said, I think the world's just kind of moved beyond that. Right. Wickles died, man. Yeah. He's gone. Are you kidding me? Is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> Too much masturbating, buddy. So, I, I got to keep trying, Ethan, and I think I got to take your advice, and I got to maybe try to change the material and but try to do better and be, build up a fan base and have people like me and be the guy on the street that's likable, not, not so offensive and rude. And there's no harm in, in hiring, uh, there's no shame in hiring joke writers. I mean, a, lot, a ton, if not all, great comedians work with joke writers, right? They do, and I was thinking if Zach had some free time on the weekend, he's not doing too much with you, I'd like to hire him. <laughs> what do you what pay? What do you think, Zach? Well, yeah, Zach. what's the pay? 500 a week. Oh, Jesus, bad. you were born in like 1920. <laughs> I like it a week. That's I mean, going to be a part-time job for two days a week. Yeah, I mean, if it's just a couple hours a week, I mean, that that's not, Jimmy, he does 10-hour shifts. He, he, he's going to put you to work. But I have, I have a job here. You know, it's, this is like... That's why I'm giving you part-time. Job. I'm giving you part-time. How many hours you need from him? Two days. He can sit and write all the jokes, then we'll do current ones, and then I'll go, I'll memorize them and go out on the street. How many, how many hours a week are we talking? How many hours, Zach, you want to do? Well, here's the thing, though. I'm not a, I'm not a comedian. I, oh. My comedy is through <laughs> sound bites, I guess. But, like, I'm not, like, a stand-up. So we got to find, Ethan, a, a good good young guy that can write some good jokes for me in, in the Jersey Atlas style. Mm. That are, you uh, need help? Uh, we could help. We could maybe find someone. Yeah. Ian, yeah, let's find, Ian would be great. Let's get Ian on that, and then I'll come <laughs> out in May, and we'll, we'll do a shoot, and it, we'll do a different style material that maybe will work better. Chad is saying 500 a week is not bad. I think that's good for part time. What do you think, Zach? Yeah, I mean, oh, you know what? Okay, I have a proposition for you. Uh oh, I know where that is. Uh oh, <laughs> what is it? Okay, I will work for you and help you write jokes for a month. Uh, no, I'll do it for two months straight, but you got to buy me a Rolex. Holy shit. Then I got to talk to Ethan and heal it. <laughs> Because they, they make more than me right now. My business is a little flat. So I got to talk to Ethan off the cuff about that one. Why? I'm a down you with you. Hit, you won in Vegas. I, I was told you won. Oh, someone no. You're Vegas. counting my money now, Jimmy? <laughs> 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 I was told you had a big hit in Las Vegas at Planet Holly. So. How much a roll? Out? I mean, that's a good deal. Two months? I mean, that might add up to what Jimmy's. Mm, the you one know, he wants is ten grand. So no. ten grand for two months' yeah, work. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Five thousand a, a month. Steep. That's a little steep. That's a little steep. Yeah. yeah. We'll talk. You guys can negotiate. Yeah. A rolly is the price, Jimmy. <laughs> I I do want to say that I appreciate number one that you guys continue to 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 give me uh, some love and have me on it. And I want to also appreciate say I thank you and appreciate your advice. And I'm going to start to try and uh, change. To do things more current, maybe maybe be more likable and try and do better. With That's what I, I want. I want to set you up for success. Let's get let's try to set you up with a joke writer, you know, and let's give you another shot out there with some fresh comedy. And we're right. gonna maybe we'll change your name to, uh, you know, Jimmy Lee, the Jersey uh, law-abiding citizen. Not Jimmy Lee, the Jersey asshole. No, no the <laughs> law-abiding citizen. You're no longer an asshole. <laughs> Not Jimmy Lee the Jersey asshole. Jimmy Lee the Jersey outlaw clean. Yeah, clean Something version. Like yeah. Yeah. And then you say dangerously funny. It can be like uh, you know, dang, pretty dang funny. Pretty dang funny. Yeah. Right now, what am I eating? Canceled culture? Is that what they call me now? Jimmy Lee canceled culture? Well, I think you have to Called you comedy? have to first exist to be canceled, unfortunately. I, I couldn't make a comeback because I never was a husband. That's right, exactly. You're saying exactly. <laughs> Just a little Jimmy Lee style humor there yeah. for you. All right, buddy. Well, people say hey, take off the glasses, Jimmy. You're making a spectacle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Who's what'd you just get hit by a bus? It's going sideways. No, on an angle. Get no, the joke right. Did you get hit by a cab on an angle? Hey, Jimmy, where's uh, who let you out of the crypt? Aren't you the crypt keeper? No, but Ethan, let me tell you what. You can go home, your cage has been cleaned. <laughs> the cage has been cleaned? I'm you a... can go home, your cage has been cleaned. What kind of animal am I? <laughs> that was okay. <laughs> I don't know. I just threw, I threw a curveball at you. Yeah. 
Okay, Jimmy. Well, then, uh, if you're so rich, if you're so t- I don't know, Jimmy. I, I'm not right. that. Hey, Jimmy. What? How many hairlines you got over there? I see. I count one, Four. two. <laughs> Four. But Ethan, you know what? I'm looking at you, and you have something under your chin. Oh, right really? There. Oh, it's your other chin. I'm sorry. Oh. 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 Hey, Jimmy. Okay. What's <laughs> under your chin? Oh, Just, it's your other chin. You flabby skinned uh, old crib keeper, <laughs> you. You're my buddy. I hope you're my buddy anyway. Yeah, of course. We're just having fun. You got it. We're just you're doing. We're just doing some good old times here. <laughs> we're just doing. Hey, Jimmy. Back Jimmy. Hey, hey, Jimmy. You got your hearing aids in or what? I keep saying. I keep talking, but you don't listen. I mean, you got to turn up the what? hearing aids. What? <laughs> hey, Ethan, I got a funny joke for you. Okay. That's it. Got him. Wow. <laughs> Take that show on the road, Jimmy. You'll be famous for the end of the month. There it, is. there it is. This was fun. But, yeah. Okay, so we're going to set you. Hey, Jimmy, you ever heard of uh, Kim? Wait, who's this? What? Wait, who is this? This is... This is Mao. <laughs> Mao Ding Chow or whatever the fuck. <laughs> <It's> not that. <laughs> you got the similar hairline. You ha, have you have you ruled any uh was what? he Chinese or Vietnamese? Chinese. Yeah. You rule any Chinese countries lately, Here, Jimmy? He, he's not give me one second. He's not seeing it. I don't know who it is though. <laughs> <laughs> who is it? Who is it? Hang on, we're, we're gonna pull it up for you, right, there you Dan? Go. Oh, come on, you're comparing me to that guy. Hey, hey oh, Jimmy, you rule any Chinese Christ. countries lately? Oh shit, you really hate me. Take that down. What do you mean? It's just you're this is the jokes you tell on the street. Take it down. Like <laughs> okay, you can't deal with it. Take it down. It's right, too offensive. It's too offensive. Taking it down. It's oh, too offensive. You're ki- you're killing it. You're killing me. Thank you, brother. Uh, hey, Ethan, I got so a dark. friend who's Italian. He embarrassed himself at the last supper by asking for seconds. Hey, Jimmy, were you at the Last Supper? Yes, with Zach. <laughs> Who's that laughing? Who is that? That's your boy, Zach. Hey, Jimmy, why Zach is it so good? Like Sorry, that, that was so good, Jimmy. I love you, but that, that, was, that was quick. That was Zach. good. Hey, Jimmy, why is it so dark in there? Your, light, your wife turned off the lights? No, but you ought to. We tell, tell love there's personalities for sale at Walmart. They're five ninety nine. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Brutal. I got to throw a couple in before I go. Get the guys. Get the guys. We're having fun. This is fun, Cameron. you know, because this is good because we're all consenting. It's like an insult. Right, battle. exactly. Yeah, it, this is you fun. Know, if you can find a way to, to set it up in such a way that it's people that are voluntarily being roasted by you, it, it's a totally right. different dynamic. This okay, is so fun. I hit love. So, Ian. Um, I just want to say something to you, Ian. You're doing a wonderful job for uh, Ethan. When we figure out what job you actually do, we're going to call you let you know. you got a bright future, Ian. Not, not in the business you're doing, maybe in the lighting business. Go easy on him, Jimmy. Uh, no, he's, a wonder, he's a wonderful Roasted. guy. Uh, as a matter of opinion, his. Um, to to um, Cameron, I want to tell you, Cameron, one day you're going to find yourself, you're going to be terribly disappointed. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> There's not much to say about Cameron. He's got a lousy personality, but he's a nice person, and uh, he keeps telling himself that. And um, we we didn't. Is there anybody that you know, Ethan, who's Egyptian? Oh, Where's geez, I guess not. Where's this going? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that, Dan? Yeah, yeah. I'm just a little uh, worried. I got my finger on the sensor button here. I guess oh, I'm closest ready? thing to Egyptian. I mean, they're Romanian, right? Uh, are my, you ready for my it? heritage? Right? But Gyp- pro- gypsies are from Romania, right? No, he said Egyptian. Not- oh, Egyptian? Yeah, Egyptian. Egyptian. I think I'd be the closest. Yeah, I mean, Ela's kind of close to Egyptian, and so is AB. So take your pick, I guess. So AB, if he's Egyptian, I would just say, hope you find a parking place for your camel. Mm. That could work for a lot of countries. See, now that one. Uh... I'm Arab. What else you got? No, no, no. You're Arab? Yes. Uh, tell, mm. tell, tell him the one you... I tell the Arab <laughs> no. guy, make up with the Jews, we'll make you a corned beef sandwich. Stop already. <laughs> That's actually a good offer. I wonder if anyone's presented that. Jim, Jimmy, tell, tell him the... Bin- Jimmy, why is it so dark? It keeps getting darker. <laughs> what is happening there? A second. <laughs> that's, that's a celebrity vibe. Look, that's what me and my son set up for the room. We a celebrity set- vibe? Oh, yeah, we had to set it up like this. Hey, Jimmy, the dental, the COVID really hit you hard. You can't afford to uh, pay the power bill. Correct. We yeah. use the gigas in the office. Now we use electric. 
Jimmy, tell hey, Doc. T- tell him, tell AB the been drinking one, the one you kept having me say. No, oh, no. yeah, yeah. So I said to Zach, you got to go up to a guy with a beard, a foreigner, and say, you look like Osama been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like it, Ethan? <laughs> no, you didn't like it. I liked it. Zach liked it. Zach did go up to someone and do it. You did, Zach. No, I didn't. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. Towards the end, I thought you did. No, never did that one. Osama right. been drinking. Osama been drinking. But Osama bin Laden was also pretty haggard. Oh, you could say that about Osama bin Laden himself. Yeah. He could. Osama bin Laden is Osama bin drinking, right, Dan? Yeah. <laughs> you got any Saddam Hussein jokes? <laughs> no. I just know really? that. No. Uh, I know. <laughs> he, I know hey, it's I, getting I, darker I, now. Hey Jimmy. <laughs> hey Jimmy. <laughs> What's happening? Hey Jimmy. Hey one. Jimmy. Where are you? Saddam Hussein's hole in the ground. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm, I'm in Ukraine. I'm in the bomb shelter. Right. Oh. Okay. Now I'm in the dark area. No good. Wait. Now he's gone. <laughs> no, <come on. laughs> we can't even see you. Cool. Is it dark? I guess it got dark over hold there or something. No, hold on. Can you put light on? Is oh, that better? Go. Oh, there he is. There, there it is. is. We got in the, the light. Backyard. We got the light. Jimmy, you crawling out of the crypt, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, this looks like a video Osama would put out. <laughs> yeah, wait. You doing an ISIS training video over there, Jimmy? What's going on? I got to tell you about those ISIS people. They're murder. <laughs> yeah, they are. That's good. They are murder. <laughs> Murder. Well, I think we did. I think we had a great time here. What do you think? I thought it was a lot of fun. I, I am appreciative of you guys. I, I love you, and I, I am going to try to move in the right direction and become okay. more current. I really mean it. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. We're, we're going to open the red carpet. We're going to throw out the red carpet for you. Oh, do a I full Jimmy Lee redemption arc. Oh, I appreciate it. You guys are nice. And if we come out in May, Ethan, we would like you to be on the street with us. Well, that's you. not happening, Jimmy. <laughs> there was a comment on my video that you should be on the street with me. Yeah. I won't embarrass you. I'll make fun of myself. I'll, uh, I'll, I think I have to take my goldfish for a walk that day. <laughs> uh, you'll be busy that day. Yeah. All right. So you're going to leave it to Zach again. Yeah, yeah. Zach, Zach's your man. Jimmy, right. but no, no crew this time. It's got to be us. Oh, all right. Just, just your crew. Yeah. Okay. And then what about the bodyguards, Zach? Yeah. Yeah. But Let's like, have the bodyguards there for sure. Like, honestly, we, you know, we, to be, to be honest, we thought this shoot was gonna be a little different because we we didn't know you were gonna bring your own your own crew, which kind of got in the way of ours. So in a lot okay, of the so shots, if we shoot, you want me to shoot with my guy on one day and you on one day. You don't want it together. <laughs> Yeah, no crossover. No crossover. No, no, no. no, no. This is going to be a one-day thing. Yeah, this is a one-day shit. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Okay, very good. I mean, you want to come run the show for a day? Me? You want to host the podcast? I'll take a day off? It's your call. I could be like Don Rickles on Johnny Carson. Why not? I have to do it with Zach as a co-host. I have to do it with Zach as a co-host, though. (laughs) Zach has to be with me. All right, we'll see. If If you pass the test... So what, I'll be here, what is it, Ed McMahon? They're going to be like Ed McMahon, you're going to go, oh, ho, 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 ho. And he'll be like Ed McMahon. <laughs> and Cameron will be Doc Severson. We'll dress him up in a loud suit, like an orange t- suit. The I'll camera- make you a deal, Jimmy. You pass the test of the next uh, street comedy vid, and I'll, I'll let you have your own segment here on the show. Wow, that's impressive. You're going to come so sit right here and do your own, your whole whatever you want to talk about. Well, you'd have to tell me how to do it and what to do. Okay, well, let's focus on the test first. So you want me to start getting all new stuff and come out and we'll shoot with you guys in May. Same vibe, but just all different material. Hey, Jimmy, don't die before May, or May, all right? I can't die before May. The day never come, Ethan. The day may never come, right. And my classic line, Ethan, before I go, good to see you back in men's clothes. Right. Will you take us to breakfast again? That's not a good one, by the way. Just only if you're buying, Zach. Fuck that. But do you know what? <laughs> I knew that was coming, Zach. Wait, hold on. The men's clothes one's not good. You should definitely drop that one too, because right. it's kind of like homophobic or something, you know, okay. like transphobic or. I'll, I'm gonna concentrate on self-deprecating ones and on current jokes. That's kind of what you feel work better. Yeah, no right? gay jokes. I think that's that's a okay. good r- rule of thumb. 
You know, okay. you know, it could be funny is if uh, Jimmy gets out of line, we could have the the person that Cam met in Vegas. And come oh, shit. Come give Jimmy. such a funny idea. Come give Jimmy a spank. <laughs> we should have a, some kind of penalty for when Jimmy <laughs> crosses the line. What do you have? A big dude that's gonna punch me or something? No, or she's a stop? she's a dominatrix. Oh, geez. and she'll like give you a spank on the butt with like a whip. <laughs> oh, Is your wife okay with that? My wife's cool. She's, She's good. Yeah, okay. Because I, I think that could be a really cool crossover. What do you guys think? I think that would be <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Dan, you're speechless. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that rolling. <laughs> hey, Sam. hey, Dan, can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Have you hated me since you met me or just recently? Uh, no, I, mean, I, 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 don't, I don't hate you, Jimmy. It's not like it's that. Like, it's like... Jimmy, you, you always ask if we hate you. Why why do you think Well, that? I know Zach hated me by the end of the shoot. I must have told him Well five, that's five, he, I don't hate you. I said Jimmy, Zach, I mean I you're you a lot me. you're a lot to spend ten hours with, to be fair. I mean you know that. Yeah, that's here I, mean, I gotta put up with myself every day. You exactly. That's what day. I'm saying. So you you know <laughs> you only have me one day, Dan. How big is that? <laughs> <laughs> the real the real person we gotta interview is your wife. Mm. True. Oh mm. I mean, talk about trauma. <laughs> How does she live? How does she live on? <laughs> She's a trooper, Ethan, my wife. She's yeah, she must be. <laughs> she understands me. That's good, actually. See, that that's beautiful, actually. I like that you guys are. I've been with my wife, Ethan, since we were kids. She's the most loyal, honest, good person you'll meet. She Aww. really is. Oh, that's, that's so nice. I was in really nice college. Idea. I was in dental school. Honestly. That's, so, that's really sweet, actually. Well, I'm and happy. when we were getting married, uh, the judge said, I do. And my wife said, with who? And he pointed to me, and my wife was dumb was happily ever said, after since that. No, well, for me, not her. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how that works. Yeah, how weird it is with my wife now. She wants to have sex with me in the back seat. Of course, she wants me to drive. <laughs> right, right. A cuckold joke. Yeah. See, this, there it is. This right. is when I think a whip would. That works for me. In, yeah. yeah. Oh, come on. That wasn't that bad. No, I said I no, liked no, it. No, no, no. We were saying, no, that's good. That was a good one. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Said it works for me. Yeah, I'm going to be trying for you. Be, well, you know, do it. You know, do it for yourself. If, if this I is something you want to do, mm -hmm. but I think you, I think people are people are. I see in the chat people are. Um, they're coming to your side a little bit now that they see you as a human being, right? Really? Yeah, they're Excellent. coming around. They're coming around on the on the outlaw on the uh, on, on the, the uh, good the good law abiding citizen Jimmy <laughs> Lee. So, Heath, I got a, a question to ask you. This is just because you, you know your, your generation. I don't. If, if I got famous as a performer, who knows if that'll even happen, and people know I do insult-style comedy, would that work once they know it and everybody knows the style, or is it just still, still too antiquated to even do that if you had a name? Well, if you want to do comedy, mm -hmm. you should probably get in the club, right, and, and practice like kind of on, – on, Trial well, by I, fire. Did that, I did that three years. I did stand up three years, and when I did stand up, it wasn't insult comedy. It was more skits and jokes. Well, that's that's the way to do it. That's what I was doing. Yeah. But I I diverted onto the YouTube, and the I I picked up more steam and notoriety doing the street comedy. So I stayed with that, and I kind of let the stand up go because I was getting too old to drive around at night and come home late. And they don't pay you. Uh, but it wasn't really insult comedy. It was more like old school comedy, like yep. Alan and Posse and stuff like that. But it was old school style. I would say that's probably your best bet, you know. I mean, the insults are good on yourself. Right. I, I hate understand. myself. That could be your punchline. I'm Jimmy yeah, Lee. I hate myself. <laughs> and Zach agrees. <laughs> You're a good man, Jimmy, all right? Thank you, guys, very, very much. I'm very appreciative. Just be I mean, careful out there, okay? I don't want you to get... I will be. Like I said, I don't, don't die before me, okay? I'm going to be careful, and I appreciate you being nice. I mean it. And to all you guys, thank you. And once again, if I offended anybody, it wasn't intentional. There I, it is. I mean man. that. I've I, I got a good heart. I just like to be noticed and, and do fun stuff. That's There it is. A good work answer. with him. Work, work with, with me. Work with him. Work with me. <laughs> well, that turned out nice. That was, that, that was great. All right, Jamie. Thanks so much. We're going to be in touch. We're going to set this up. And okay. uh, so Zach, <laughs> yeah, someone you said you should get on staff? Cameo. Oh boy! I, I just got I just got on cameo about a week ago. Got my first person. <laughs> really? Mazel Yeah. Okay. My first. I made twenty five dollars so far. Okay. <laughs> you know what? So about Zach, that Rolex, thank you Jimmy. For that. 
No, Zach, thank you. Zach's the one who told me to do it. Oh, wait, there you go. Um, wait, who, who the f- I, I want to look at it. Jimmy, Jimmy Lee. What do you go, go by? What do you go by on Cameo? What's your... Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. It's up there. Jimmy Lee. I found it. found it. You found it? You got me? All right, let's see, let's see what your first cameo... Let's cameo. see what the trailer is here. Let's see. There. Oh. <laughs> I did it last Friday night at the Hard Rock. Wait, what's happening? It's like a 10-second thing. Are you not finding it, Eve? It's not playing. I mean, I'm clicking oh, here. Hey, it's Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Apple store, comedy TV show, Dangerously Funny. I'm here to insult you, rib you, and make fun of you. Come on down. Hey, it's you Jimmy could probably Lee, the Jersey Apple. You, it's good, but there's a lot of dead air at the front and back of that video. Okay. So what do you want me to make it even shorter? But it's kind of funny, right? It's charming. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Hey, yeah, it's I think it's part of the yeah. Well, th- this is good. You can insult these people because that's what they're coming for, right? Right. And I think, Ethan, what's important, because I did listen to you on the one, two weeks, if, if you could get really known as, say, like an insult comic, it, it, it would be accepted more like Rickles. When they went to see him, they wanted to see him front row and get insulted because they knew. But people exactly. don't know, so they get so offended because I'm a random guy, like you said, walking up to him. <laughs> right. to I'm, I'm laughing at the business use for 175. We might be able to put something together. Say it again. I just laughing that the business use is 175. Like we should put him in a commercial or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, All right, I'm Jimmy. Here. Well, there it is. Okay. Uh, take care, you know, and, you, and, and I look forward to seeing you again in May, I believe. Yep. Thank you very All much. Right, take I, care, I keep buddy. your crew and everything. Thanks for coming out with me a couple of weeks. All right. Now get back inside. It looks cold out there. Thank you, buddy. All right. Take care. Hope he gets out of the shadow realm soon. That was... Say hi to Keemstar. What are you in the bathroom with the lights off? <laughs> Dracula, dude. That was crazy how it just got darker and darker. Like, what the? I don't know what was going on there. Look- well, there you go. You guys see, it's it's a uh, it's a whole journey with Jimmy, right? You could say that. Stop diagnosing him. Shut the fuck up, Jenna. Just unsubscribe, idiot. Chill. It's a, we're joking. <laughs> I'm just sorry, but if you're in the chat saying stop diagnosing him, what the fuck? How dare you try to be funny on a comedic podcast? It's stupid. God damn. People are saying they like Jimmy King. His wife exiled him <laughs> to the shadow <laughs> realm. Yeah. Uh... Oh, Jenna was talking to the girl who said he had autism. Oh, I'm sorry, Jenny. Jenna. That, see, that's why I don't read chat. I can't get involved with all the antics. Jenna, I'm so sorry. You're 100% right, actually. I agree sorry. with you. You were talking to Jimmy for too long, man. You're in too deep. Hey, hey, Jenny. <laughs> what, a bus hit you? At an angle? I think a bus he hitting you is hard enough. He kept insisting on the, the at an angle thing. Yeah. Do you, do you know? I don't know. Why is that, that worse? I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Let's hit you at an angle. He, like, corrected you a couple times. Because a bus hitting is, you know, bad. Right. At an angle. At an What's angle? at the angle? Me or the bus? I'd, I'd, I don't Just know. Just like, because it's worse to get hit? The I don't think so. Corner of the bus? Oh, the corner? Hmm. I guess. Got to ask him. Get him back on the phone. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jenna. Now I feel bad. Thank you, Eva, for correcting me. Love everyone in chat. You all are troopers. Pure. Jenna's gone. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, did Jenna leave? Oh, no, Jenna. We love you, Jenna. She's still in the shot. No, okay. The shot. We love you, Jenna. You're the best that ever did it. <laughs> Everyone's saying we love you, Jenna. Justice for Jenna. I love Jenna. Pizza and yeah, I love people. I agree. <laughs> poor, poor Jenna. <laughs> God, I love her. <laughs> I'm so fucked up. How long have we been going? Oh, boy. Uh, two hours and 18 minutes. Should we talk about the goddamn Dubrick so at least we can own the title? Yeah, I mean, I think we should. Uh, it, but it's... <laughs> I mean, are you still buying? It's, Where is this? It's kind of up to you. Maybe Jenna I'm going to take a nap. You guys could continue without me. <laughs> Just take Just a kidding. nap on the table right there. <laughs> Jenna sent a message. 
She said, it's okay. I love you guys. Oh, my God, my heart. Thanks. Sorry, Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was just kind of surprised. Like, how do you survive that whole segment and then get mad at an offensive joke? But there you go. Jenna wasn't. Jenna, ladies and gentlemen. We love Jenna. I'm going to write Jenna's sky, name in the sky. I'm going to hire a plane. We're going to get it out there. Above New York, L.A., San Francisco. Chicago. Not Chicago. Fuck Chicago. You can't disrespect the shy, bro. All right, let's talk about Dubrick. Dubrick? So Dubrick's down bad. You know, he never did anything quite this shady until he got canceled, but I think he's desperate, right, for some cheddar. I mean, the puzzle thing was... I was I, about to suggest the puzzle no, but, thing, but... Everybody said it was so genius. Like, you had people, like... They're like, this is such a genius project by David Dobrik. So he's always been a little bit of a schemer, but this is next level, right? So here's the video uh, of him promoting it. So I go. wanted to get my feet a little more wet with some NFTs, if you know what I mean. No, you don't know or care about NFTs. I know that. So I kind of went to the tippy top of the NFT world and check this out. I got a board bunny. And not only is it a board bunny, but it looks like me. Look at that. We have the same hat. It's so sick. If you're young and nice. It's so sick. I'm sorry, guys, but this, I think his career is officially over after seeing that. Naive, just like my brother, and want to get into NFTs. You should check out Board Bunny. They have literally over 150,000 people in the Discord. So you, it's like a you giant missed a Sasquatch really chat. critical part um, of that. And if, yeah. You, you need to rewind it. You missed a really important part. I did? Yeah, like the most important part of this whole video. Oh, shit. Uh, go right before. Yeah, just go to like there We're, and play. We it. have the same hat. <laughs> it's so sick. <laughs> this is sick. Okay, you just did it again. Just <laughs> how did I miss it? Nothing happened. Okay, but it, you paused it at the exact same point. I don't know. What Maybe do you want fun. me to do? Just watch it without pausing. Okay, here we go. If you're young and naive, just like my brother. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What? Why did you say that? Why did you actually say that? <laughs> if you're a global loser. If you're a global loser that's still inve investing in influencer cryptos, this is perfect for you. <laughs> it's just naive, so on just the like nose. My brother and want to get into NFTs. You should check out Board Bunny. They have What the fuck did you say that for? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you're a fucking brain dead loser who frequently loses loses money to scams and multi-level marketing schemes, <laughs> Literally over 150,000 people in the Discord, so it's like a ginormous ass group chat. Um, and if, yeah, if you're interested at all, just start it on their Instagram page. All right, let me know. So I wanted to get my feet a little. Okay, did they let him know? Did people like let him know? Let him know, dude. That's embarrassing, dude. Holy yeah. shit! Hey, do you have that bur uh, that uh, Herbalife contact? List? He's like, if you ever uh, right. worked for Herbalife, <laughs> you may love. Here's the price activity on OpenSea of the board bunnies. Let's see. 5,000 NFTs, 3.7 uh, thousand owners. So, zero, six. How much is that? That's the floor price. Oh, it's having a little resurgence here at the end. Yeah, I suppose a little bit. But like most of these, just kind of uh, bottoms out pretty much in instantly. People are buying this shit still, dude. Who though? Three hundred bucks, man. What the fuck? So sick. I'm just blown away that people are buying this. I just, it truly blows my fucking mind. Like I just, I mean, I just can't fathom it that there's people dropping hundreds of dollars, even hundreds. Just. I'm totally baffled by this. It's like investing in Bernie Madoff after the whole economy collapsed. Right. Like, I still believe in you. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't make any sense. I'm writing him a letter in jail. Take my money, Bernie. Yeah, with a check enclosed. Golly, man. Okay. <laughs> we have David Dobrik's board bunny on the, on the blockchain. What do we got here? 
Sick, dude. Sick, bro. Dope. This is the serial killer bunny that kills all of his friends. It looks just like him. Um, did he sell it? Wait, he sold it? It was sold for one. It was sold for eight. It sold for one, and then sold for 1.5. Did he sell it? That crypto shit. I guess he must have. <laughs> Love it. Is that what that's me? I mean, are we I... sure that's the same? Yeah, it says David Dobrik, board NFT. I mean, I think. Uh, yeah. And then it's definitely sold. He sold it. <laughs> what a fucking dumbass. But then which one is his? Because it says hype zone over invested oh, one. by a lot. The top one's probably him. Oh, I see. So he didn't. Okay, interesting. Skate nuts is him. You think skate nuts is him? Yeah. All right. Weird name, David. Phase blanks. Now this is where it gets interesting. A clash of uh, titans here. Phase blanks heard about it and revealed he also received an insane offer for around five hundred to seventeen hundred and fifty thousand to promote it, which he declined. Blanks. Wow, rare dub for blanks, I guess. There's been a development. Actually. There's been a development, though. <laughs> oh no. On David, I'm sorry, on Face Banks' Instagram story, he's on Views, David O'Rick's podcast. One hour ago. Oh, my God. My seed is all over this place. So is <laughs> Before he gonna... you give him too much credit. <laughs> wow, that sounds... What a spineless bitch. Well, let's see if he confronts him or if it just turns into a puff piece. That's, that's true. I guess it's possible. I mean, David's going to cut out anything that looks bad. It's his video. Right. It's not live. That's a good point. Hey, bro, it's good to see you. You know, this shit happens to all of us, dude. I just think we should be homies. <laughs> He's fucking stupid. Welcome, David Dobrik, to a long list of influencers promoting scams. Nice. I mean, FaZe is like, I didn't do this one, so I'm going to call you out for it. I mean, FaZe has, like, been proven to be working with a lot of these crypto schemes, right, love? Phase, yes, banks, no. Yeah, Faze he owns Phase. Yeah, he's a member. yeah. I mean, he's he's a owner, owner of Phase. I think if I was like, yo, well, I was like, yo, I, I I don't do a I don't deal with this shit. And then meanwhile, my company is like buying and selling. Let me shit. rephrase it. Other Phase members, individual no. members of Phase. Because I thought there was something where Phase Clan, the organization, no, was never there. okay. Yeah, so that's different. About it. Dude, no, I think, uh, dude, half a million for a is fuck. actually. Stayed relatively clean. By the way, okay, so apologies to Banks. Fucking fraudulent. <laughs> Dude, he says they offered him half a million for a story. That's insane. And shows the messages, too. I can get you 500K now paid before just for a follow and a story post. Yo, that should just tell you how um, lucrative these are. You had 500K for a story? Only one story, 15 seconds. That's it. Happening right now. Call me. I know you have a ton of deals going left and right, but to get paid 500 to 750 before you have to do anything is just for a follow and 10 seconds, bro. Yeah, that's shady. That's like basically just someone handing you like a bag of cash, like unmarked, no trace. They're like, yo, just take this bag of cash and just give a shout out to like uh, uh, this company real fast. Like, I'm sorry, who does that? That's so shady. It's obviously something shady when that's the conditions. Like, oh, what is that's this? Annoying, bro. Wait, hold on, Face Clan Moon Pay. What is this? I don't know. I'm not sure. What is that, Cam? To the Moon Pay. Whatever. I don't care. Anyone doing this shit is lame. Uh, in a recent post, who's this guy? Zach XBT called out YouTube star David Dobrik promoting an alleged $6 million NFT scam. Oh, that's the one we read. Board Bunny has addressed concerns that their NFTs in the past. On February 18, they assured holders the floor price wasn't being manipulated and urged them to list NFTs at higher prices. Guys, stop selling it so low. That's how the free market works, by the way. Yeah. Guys, stop selling your NFTs for so low. <laughs> You're ruining our shit. Wow. 
They also revealed that they've been legally pursuing the removal of defamatory statements and blatant lies. Yeah, right. And them and their NFTs on the internet. However, they've remained silent on social media ever since. Which, actually, that was the case when I wrote it up yesterday. Um, but they tweeted uh, <coughs> yesterday afternoon, apparently, for the first time in over a month. I'm just looking at it now. And... Um, you know, they're giving some uh, excuses for why they had disappeared for so long. But the replies are just full of people. Guys, I'm banned from the Discord. Is it possible to change that? Most of the big holders are. Oh, my God. Uh, they disappeared. No communication. No progress at all. David Dobrik sitting on half a million bucks like, Hey, guys, if you're young and gullible like my brother, you're going to love this project. Saw people getting charged for rug pulling, so coming out of hiding. This needs to be reported to the FBI. Oh, true. Yeah. I got bought a board bunny and got rugged. So yeah, this is what. Of course, you got rugged, bro. What, you, uh, you bought something called a board bunny. This is what David was very excited to sell to um, his young naive fans in his own work. Just like my brother here. <laughs> if you're young and naive, uh, David has not addressed this. So of course, this happened a couple of months ago, I guess. And then Faye Blanks just called him out for it, right? Yeah, it happened. I think in January is when it was announced and just recently faced Well, let's something. take a vote. You guys think that that Blanks is going to call David out or they're just going to like be friends and nothing Blanks. matters? No, he called him out. And How do you know already? It's out? Uh, he's talked about it on his story and he said that they would come to a resolution. They did something. He teased it. Interesting. All right, Blanks, let's see it. What the fuck are you saying? I'm saying I want to see the podcast of you on D Dubrick. Dubrick? But like you said, I mean... David does have... He's like, yo, I got a real problem with this crypto shit. But the excavator and the essay and all that shit, I'm cool with that, dog. I had sex in the treehouse. I'm actually cool with all that stuff. Just don't fuck with my money, okay? Did he call him out on that stuff? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. Doubtful. All right, that's enough for me. I'm going to go die. <laughs> I'm going to die before Jimmy does. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. That turned out more wholesome. You know, it, it, I'm happy. I'm I was afraid it was going to turn I'm in. happy with the way it went. Yeah. It could have it been worse. Could have yeah, been worse. definitely. He's already blowing up my phone. Read really? some. We're still live, Jimmy. <laughs> Read some. I really appreciate you guys having me on. Oh, okay. Just that kind no. of message. When you can, please send me, download the two videos when you can. Really appreciate you guys. <laughs> Wait, he wants you to download the episode and send it to him? He, he always asks for that. Well, he also wants the thing we made, and then he also wants his portion of the show. <laughs> okay, Jimmy. We do a full service here for Jimmy. Get right on that. <laughs> Did we ever actually send it to him? Yeah, like yeah, I think we do. Oh, Cam, okay. can you can you help me out with that, Cam? <laughs> please. I'm surprised you guys actually send that to him. To be honest, can you email me the? I mean, if you're cool with that, Ethan, I mean, we. I don't care. I mean, uh, I don't care. Wait, he wants all the raw footage. It's a little tedious. No, 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 no. I mean, the man, the man has a son. Just I'm sure he knows the, how to download. Send him the timestamp link to the video. I mean, yeah, I, I do. I really go hand over. How's this man going to write a youthful joke? He can't even download a video from the internet. So he he just. If if I don't get it to him, it, like, five minutes after the show ends, he's going to bug me, like, all fucking night. <laughs> oh, oh, so he's persistent. Like, and also, like, God love Jimmy. I don't know what it is, but he'll repeat the same fucking thing 20 times. Like, I'll tell him, like, hey, Jimmy, we're going to have you on at 3 today. Okay, cool. So you're going to have me on at 3 today, right? Like, it's, I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. He just wants to make it happen. He's a goal-oriented individual. All right, Jimmy, we'll get you the tape. But a ro I think I think we got it. Like big companies usually charge for that kind of fee. Like, you know, during my losses, they charge crazy. Not let's invoice friend. him. He could hire Cam on the weekend as well. Get a rolly out of. I'm just saying, I want to get Zach a rolly because I know he's pretty loaded. I think he, he's got a roll, dude. He drives a Rolls Royce. Uh. I'm just saying he's asking a lot of you. He fucking is. Like yeah. all day, every day. We gotta work on that ro on getting you that Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, that's it. That's the show. Hope you had fun. It was a wild one, eh? Off the rails.
what we do. Good job to the crew for going out there and capturing that. Yeah, great job to the Cameron who the put that whole out. edit together, yep. which was not easy, right, Cameron? I mean, it was five hours of footage he sifted through, so yeah. Make that and cut. I, I lived with the jokes on repeat for you know a couple weeks and came in on the weekend to get it done. And oh, you shit! I forgot. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad it all came together. As, as best he could, I guess. It's not easy. Good job, and Cam. You really, you really, and he really saved the edit by by constantly going up the stack and you know trying to get some uh, Q and A done in between and trying to make it something sensible instead of just us trying to keep up with Jimmy. For it's very sweet. Everyone's a superstar. Yeah, you guys did a great job. Ian, the producer with the invisible hand. I want to give a shout out to uh, AB's boxing match, but I mean, we could talk about it on Friday, right? I mean, it's not yeah. happening. Yeah, we'll talk about it on Friday. Uh, closer to the top, put a little respect on it. Who's gonna die first, you or Jimmy? <laughs> Stay tuned, watch Friday. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you on uh, Friday. All right, take care. I'm gonna go die, and I have to go shit right now. <laughs>